Guess who's back? It's me and Elric and his S's. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> He's got a few S's as you'd expect. I've actually got three beers as well today because yeah. I thought we were going to be a long old yeah. S, S so, so I've got an old peculiar, I haven't got any fancy ones today, old, yeah. old peculiar, classics, that's classics, the classics yeah. yeah, I think I picked them up in, just went to a Tesco's, a thirsty ferret, an amber ale and a hobgoblin because you can't, can't go wrong with a hobgoblin every now and again. And I found another um, brewery, not brewery, but I think it might be you know, like a shop associated with a brewery down on uh, Ho Street. Uh, it's called the Clapton Tap or something like that. Okay. Yeah. It was, okay. Yeah, there was, near the Rosen, is it the Rosen like Crown? The old Rosen yeah, Crown. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. that, that's 2018 uh, Camera Beer Festival as well. Uh, Camera right, Beer. Yeah, yeah, Pub of the Year. Yeah, for yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know there for, I've been in there a few times yeah. before in the past. Joe and Tim's actually played there in their folky band. That's right, yeah. yeah. It's, it's gone right kind of hipster though, then, down the yeah. Ho Street. Oh, we walked down, yeah. we walked along, there was a shop there. Shops, yeah, it? just next door to the, 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 the this claps and yeah. tap, whatever it was called. It was like a, you know, all, you could see it was all bloody uh, proper beers, you know, then, yeah. but all the canned ones. Yeah, yeah the canned it's, ones, yeah, the hipster yeah, canned, canned ones. And there was a shop, I was looking in the window, there's all this kind of stuff going on in the window. I'm like, what's going on here? Look, I couldn't make out the street. It looked like it was like an antique shop or something. Yeah, and there was all this stuff I've in the window. The shop, and then I realised yeah. it was a fucking barber shop. Right. Yeah, and there was, there was a couple of chairs over in the end, like, and some bloke sitting there. And There's a fancy barber shop down Leightonstone High Road as Is well. Is there? Okay. Really fancy. Yeah, it looked like yeah. it was a Welsh, yeah, it was weird, it was weird. <laughs> it looked in the window, it looked like it was an antique shop of all these kind of tap piled up and like blackboards okay. and stuff. And then I realised it was a barber shop. Yeah. And I saw a blackboard with something about some kind of beard oil or something, and I was like, oh. I say the only thing. You're disappointed. Mm, yeah, no, what do we want with a barber? Exactly. I don't like all this bloody oils and Band stuff. Bad barbers. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, you know, people want to cut their hair after them. <laughs> no. But these people who put beard oil and all these. Oh yeah, yeah. As I say, the only, the, the only product yeah. my beard sees is beer, gravy, and my yeah. girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you need. Exactly. <laughs> Bit of food for later. Yeah. So I've got. I've gone for the. Um, Working my way through the old uh, EOBs, the St Peter's and the yeah. Sandra Smith. So today I got uh, East London Brewery Peacock English Pale Ale. Okay. Um, Was that from the usual, the Stone one? Yeah. Um, Peacock Classic Pale Ale, brewed with English hops and malts. Uh, the aroma of hedgerows and ripe dark fruits lead to a smooth caramel body and silky refreshing finish. Excellent paired with food or simply enjoyed on its own. You said the aroma of hedgerows? Yeah. As in like... Bushes. Yeah, I suppose it's got strange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not, not in Leighton Stone. Yeah. yeah, I do like Old Peculiar, it's one of my favourites that you can pick up fairly easily. Yeah. I think there's like free for a fiver as well, which is always good. Unpasteurised and cold filtered. Okay. Mm. Uh, Fixer's most famous owl takes its name from the seal of a peculiar court of Masham, which was granted back in the 12th century. It was the custom at the time for the church to administer the law, but this proved too arduous a task for the then Archbishop, who was then based in York. So with due archiepiscopal aplomb, he set up the independent peculiar court, headed up by the official vicar of Masham. Nice. So very mouth. Right. We'll, we'll do another one when we yeah. drink, drink the time comes, right? so we'll when open the time comes, we'll open it up So we can yeah. crack on with your SE. I see a yeah. bit of fresh there. That's the last yeah. one in the pile. Well, I mean, S is going to be... Oh, is that top of the pile? It's top, top of the pile, pile. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. It's going to be interesting because um, this this is uh, this whole collection of S's is... is uh, did, you, did you throw these around by any chance? Well, I had to carry them about. <laughs> I, yeah. now, I now have a wet try, leg. Try not to wet yourself, mate. <laughs> yeah, cheers, mate. That's no, exciting. Cheers, cheers for shaking that up so yeah, it, yeah. it would splurge all over my leg. Like, no, a, it's, it's a, like an excited dog humping. It's going to be like my whole collection in, in, in one because it's, you're going li to yeah. like some stuff, you're going to hate some stuff, and you're going to be interested in some stuff. Mm. I mean, that's pretty much how a lot of my letters yeah. are going. But, I mean, it is nice, actually, this week, there'll be stuff you actually do like. Yeah, actually, I've got myself <laughs> yeah. in my collection. Yeah, exactly. I've got think I'm a few S's already, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, mainstays of uh, most metal collections, really. Yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah. Um, it, it, could it be the most metal letter, S? Yeah, it could well be. <laughs> There's well so many yeah. fans, isn't there? Yeah, M's quite good. I think M, M's S good, and T. because I have a lot of M's M, as well. S and T. I mean, you've got yeah. some T's as well, yeah? Yeah, not as many T's as I thought I would have, yeah. but I've got, I've got some T's. 
Go on then, right, let's fire it off. It. Here we go. See a bit of UK goodness. And hopefully I will do my show after this fucking oh, programme. Well, yeah, oh, well, yeah, you want to? I've been missing in action for a couple of weeks. Yeah, you lost your laptop. Oh yeah, quickly, quickly tell about that. My, my computer completely uh, wiped. Something to do with the, the magnet. I got a like, computer expert, like, yeah. a mate, friend of mine. And he said it's something to do with the fucking it affected the magnet or some bullshit. I don't know. I have no no clue about computers. Uh, wipe my computer totally and we reset You must have had a magnet near it. I don't know, maybe. Because magnets know. do can yeah. can mess with. So um so I don't care about wiping anything else apart from my book that yeah. I've been writing. So you uh, still um, got someone out, mostly someone out back, no, almost. It all got, it all went, but um, my friend managed to uh, do his wizarding and collect about half my files. Oh no! But um, what I forgot actually is I, I've been writing on Grammarly, right. the uh, the grammar kind of uh, website. Okay. So all my files are on there. Okay, that's all uh, right. Unfortunately, like it's just in word form, so I've got to restructure all my book again. Right, but at least so, you haven't lost. At least I haven't words. lost the words. You, you know, so like, it into freaking hell, so yeah. I've got a nightmare though. F format it back into the book, and I slice my finger right at work. Yeah. So you've been in the wars again. At least you haven't broken your toe this week or yeah. got a cold. Well, no, it's my nails nearly off. Uh, Good show to this. No. Right. First up, we all love this, don't we? Sabbat. This is Sabbat, or Sabbat, or yeah. however you are. History of Time to Come, this was their debut, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I can't see any more Sabbat in your yeah, What's going I'm on? on? The second one. Yes, yeah, the bloody... The first two are uh, brilliant. Yeah, the second one is gold. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That's very good. The second one's I think I prefer good, the second yeah. one, though. The second yeah. one is, is my favourite of theirs. And then the third one is like, what the fuck happened? You're yeah. so good. Why did you bring this one out for? Yeah, I know. Yeah. And then they stopped. Mm. Uh, but they reformed, haven't they? They've been around doing bits and pieces for years now, haven't they? Yeah, I think they're not going again now, though, are no, they? No, they stopped again, yeah. yeah. Well, Andy Sneap is in Judas Priest now. Right. He's doing, he's, he's doing hell as well. He, doing hell as well, yeah. yeah. Okay. But, you know, I don't know if he's going to be permanent because obviously Glenn Titson has had to pull out a priest now because of Parkinson's. Oh. Uh, um, so when, when they played uh, Bloodstock, he was uh, there, was he? He didn't need that anymore. When he was playing Bloodstock, it was Andy Sneap with guitar. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, Sabat, brilliant. Sabat. Great, great yeah. album. Um, Not to be confused with the Japanese ones. No, no. They were good as well, actually. I haven't got an awful lot of Japanese no, ones. No, I haven't got any, no. any, but... I haven't got any albums, yeah. but I've heard a few MP3s well, yeah. here and there, a few songs here and there. Yeah. But yeah, Sabat, pretty good band. I remember the, the second album, I used to just go yeah. crazy on that one. Crazy, just, yeah. Just awesome. A cautionary tale. What is that, 88? Yeah, it's got. I, I reckon it's could be eighty seven. Let, let me have a look. Eighty seven. Mm. Yeah, second one's about what eighty eight, eighty nine. Yeah, something like that. Like, yeah. yeah, if you're like, if you're if you're a fresher and you don't know Sabbath from the UK, you can definitely check them out because yeah. they, they the first two albums absolutely bloody awesome and a little different as well they're yeah a, a little bit they're a folky kind of element yeah piece, yeah because yeah. he went on to sky track yeah which is a lot more folky yeah than to it, but yeah but yeah something some... he's got a really strange voice i love his voice it's <laughs> yeah. so original isn't it yeah martin Walkier. yeah that's a name that's a name i could never spell <laughs> my dad had um the original single release of Flexi Disc of uh, oh, from the, the Blood Gods. Yeah, my mate I had that. that song. My mate had that only because he collected the White Dwarf magazine. Yeah. The White Dwarf magazine was a fantasy role playing kind of magazine, I think to do with um, tabletop games and stuff like that. And my mate collected it. Well, I remember him playing it and he showed it to me. Mm. And at that time, I think it was slightly before I was getting into metal. Or I might have just been in, just got in, started getting into Maiden. I listened to it with him and I was like, that's fucking terrible. But I think it's he was, bizarre. I think he was playing at the wrong speed. I'm not too right. sure, actually. He, was, he just sounded, he did sound really uh, strange. <laughs> and it's a strange, but they, they, they've got like, they're kind of epic sounding as well, in a way. For uh, like, like, It's like epic thrash, and that Blood, yeah. for the blood Gods has all sorts going on there. Like, <laughs> probably my favourite Sabbath. I need to, I'm curious, I've not really listened to that much. Yeah. I know it's because it's, it's from like the chaos, isn't it? Blood mm. from the Blood God is yeah. from, was it Warhammer? Oh, you're not yeah, it's me. the war, yeah, it's yeah. the Warhammer um, yeah. system, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. The Blood God is long took. There's a few bands that have got that. There's um, Bolt Throw, I love it. Yeah, Bolt Throw, I love people. it. And there's a German band called, um, oh, fuck it, what are they called? Can't remember now. I saw them play a few years ago. I've got a few of their albums actually, they're pretty cool. Thingy, cool. um, I can't remember what they're called now, no? Um, 
Corpse Grinder from uh, Cannibal Corpse is a bit more across. Yeah. He had a, a, there's a character, there's a, um, a character like uh, Corpse Grinder character. Oh, you're basically. Like, he's oh, really proud. Like, yeah, he, like, he would be, wouldn't he? Yeah. 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 He's chaos as well. I think I remember hearing about he's, he's chaos yeah. people or something on there. Yeah. Right, uh, this is a, this is a brilliant super rare, rare album okay. uh, and it's uh yeah it's pretty never amazing heard, never heard of him well uh, you've heard of him yeah, do you recognize him no nope. it's lemmy is it really yeah damn i know this is lemmy uh, in 1968 this is his debut yeah. photo this is rare as fucking shit this album and it's worth a lot of money right. i'm keeping it yeah uh this is sam goppel uh, yeah, he, uh, after the Rockin' Fickers, uh, yeah. he left them, he joined this band. And it's like psychedelic rock. Gopal or Gopal? Uh, so, uh, I'm, I'm sure I've heard that Gopal has been like a name, a proper surname. I know, it? it's yeah, Gopal, but I don't know, it could be Gopal. Is that actually a guy's name, Sam Gopal? Yeah, that is, it's the drummer. Right. Like, he plays kind of like bongo he kind of okay, drums. Yeah, yeah. But it's really, it's trippy, it's, it's, it's quite rocky, and... Um, yeah, it's his vocal so, baby. Because I saw that Gopal was like an Indian name. I'm sure I've seen that as an he, Indian name. He doesn't he does like look he could be mixed Indian. race or, yeah. or Indian, doesn't he? But he was, uh, look at him then. But he was <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. I know. He's, even his walks are tiny then. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, at that time, he would have been rodian for Hendrix as well, and the right. Mice, which yeah. is what he was doing. But he's known as. Um, in oh, Ian yeah. Lemmy Willis. Okay. Yeah. But it was Killmeister. Was that a made-up yeah. name? Well, it's a made-up name. It's the 60s. Isn't there, isn't there, didn't he have Fraser in his name as well? No, no. That's his mate from the Deviants. Because uh, uh, early days, um, early writing was uh, um, Killmeister and Fraser. Right. No, no, Fraser was the singer of the Deviants and they wrote right. together. Okay. Like the early couple of Motorhead albums mm. all written by... Um... No, no, I'm thinking of Farron. Okay. Uh, Fraser's... Sure, I'm sure I've seen that name in, in there somewhere. Yeah, I think, I, I think it's probably um, when he did a few covers or something like that. Right. Uh, but anyway, here's the gatefold. Yeah. So is Still that, known as Lemmy. So, so in the old close-up on that, yeah. you can closely see what he looks like, how old, how young he looks rather. Yeah. 1968, you say? 1968, I think it is. I'll that check it. The year before I was yeah. born. That was the year before I was born. And... Um, he, yeah, but basically it's his uh, vocal debut. It's a pretty cool album, actually. I like it. It's like oh, it's psychedelic rock. Yeah. Psychedelic rock kind yeah. of sound in. So he's playing bass as well, I take it. No, no, he didn't, he didn't touch the bass until Hawkwind. Uh, okay. Uh, so he's just singing then? He's singing and playing guitar. Oh, okay. He played guitar in the Rocking Figures. Yeah. Uh, Sam Goppel. And uh, he was in a band called um, Opal Butterfly, right, briefly. Right. Um, and then he joined Hawkwind, and he was, think he was thinking he was joining Hawkwind as a second guitarist. Right. Uh, but then the bass is left, and he's like, no, no you're the bassist. Bass. He's like, oh, am I? <laughs> and, that, and then he got, yeah, then he got <laughs> right into it, you know. Fair enough. Um, 1969, actually. Versatile, yeah, versatile. 1969? Yeah. So it was the year I was born in. But, you know, you hear his vocals, it sounds like Lemmy. Yeah. So when did he die? Two years ago? Yeah, something like that, isn't it? So he was seven, so he's uh, so trying yeah. to work out how old he might have been there by, by bringing... So oh, like, yeah, two yeah. years ago, I was 47. So you, you do the math. I'm, I've got too much of an headache. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got a little headache, actually. Beer yeah. probably does now. Yeah, 23. It must have been about 23 then, I reckon. Mm. I just thought I bought you a belly glass, mate. Oh, yeah. So you can pour your massive, massive head that you always do. Perhaps if I poured it straight into there for you, I wouldn't have got it all over my bloody leg. Oh, yeah. Me true. sitting there stinking of beer. That's, that's <laughs> well, another rule of that. <laughs> it's not too bad when it's fresh. Tomorrow yeah. my trousers stinking of beer might be a bit rough. I'll go from the, uh, something you your hate, that okay. I really like. Okay. Well, you don't really know it, but I know you'll hate it. Yeah, if I was um, to listen to it, I probably would. Yeah, I love oh, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. I love yeah. this. Are you playing this on your... Yeah, yeah, and everyone yeah. hated it. I, don't know, what the I love it. <laughs> what the fuck is this crap? It's rap metal. Oh. But what what the difference with this is though? Those two words are not belong in the same sentence. Only twice in my life. The only way that rap and metal belong in the same sentence is if someone's saying metal is better than rap. <laughs> That's, that that only makes sense. <laughs> but rap metal as like a co-joined unit. Fuck right off. Yeah, you got it. Come on, that nah. you, you got to uh, uh, break down the boundaries, Graham. Yeah. But anyway, um, the thing with this album, though, is um, 
this was really massive at the time. I remember this got in the charts and everything. They were yeah. on the TV and stuff. Well, it's still going. Like Krang Darlings. I thought I remember. No, I'm not sure really. I remember him. I'm sure I remember yeah. reading about him. You know, the name is familiar. I wouldn't have known him unless I've seen him in like some of the metal magazines, I'm sure. Uh, we're going to have the lyrics that are on it. <laughs> it's because yeah. it's rapping. Yeah. Right? It's rap metal at its core, but really it, it's kind of, it has a free festival vibe to it, a psychedelic yeah. vibe to it. So there's like uh, psychedelic influences, there are dance influences, uh, metal as well. It's just a mixture of everything. I really love it. I think it's a fucking great album. You've seen them live? Yeah, a few and times. What sort of people they, were they talk they, they It's a mixture. Me. It, it, it is surprisingly mixed. Was well, like metal? Metalheads, uh, you get uh, people relating to rap, you get psychedelics, so you get hippie types. Mm. Uh, it is quite a mixture, the Intensor. Well, what, um, what about there who they were touring with? Were they, they, they with metal bands? Or they uh, yeah, with, yeah, yeah. They, uh, as well as um, like bands like Hawkwind and yeah. people like that. I'm not sure if they actually toured with Hawkwind, maybe Osric, something like that. Um, but then they split um, and then they reformed probably about 10 years ago and they've been doing I mean they've done, they've done other albums but really that's the only one you got it's the only one that really is like the one you want to get in a way because right. uh, even live now the majority of the set is this right yeah um, they did like a 25 year anniversary gig it was a whole album yeah pretty is that much. their first one it's their they first do, one yeah right. they, I mean um, they did um, an album called I think Asylum I can't remember that weren't bad but that was just it's a dual focal female and male okay uh, but uh, the male left and um, they did an album just a female which was all right what label was it on the big label at this time it was interesting you said that I'm not sure ultimate records oh not, not one I've yeah. heard of yeah. so I wonder if they were signed up by like, one of the big one of the big labels yeah. at the time maybe after this well, successful they might have, might have mm. done that. Well, you went no charting as well. Actually this got to, I think, number five in the UK charts, this album, and uh, I think a couple Pretty of singles. Respectable. Yeah. Um, but I like Raging Against the Machine. These were quite forgotten about, in a way, yeah. you know. But, uh, yeah, very good album. I don't know if I fucking showed you the inside, did I? I can't remember. I'm sure I don't think you did. But, yeah, understandable, not everyone's cup of tea. No. And it ain't usually in mine, to be honest, so... So something got you got yeah. into that one somehow. So where did you phone them? Or hey, on a radio or saying or? I'm not sure. Because I got into them when the album came out. Yeah. So, um... Must have phoned them somewhere. Yeah. Or someone must have suggested them to you. Maybe my dad or something. Yeah. <laughs> into all sorts, mate. Oh. I've nearly dropped your first beer. I'm going to fucking slow down, I mean. Shut up. Have you? Yeah, nearly. I'm not far off. I've only got two, two mouthfuls hours. left. It's like... And that's like a six point eight in it, the old uh, old peculiar. Uh, five point. Oh, five point six. I thought it was a stronger than that. So this is the um, sensor uh, jet single. This is their thrash metal uh, one. Yeah. It's quite fast, you know. It's quite thrashy. You're still. That's a yet, weird but... looking cover. It's got it's got a Celtic kind of design, and yeah. you've got kind of like um, graffiti kind of looking stuff around. Yeah. You know, with their and logo. A, and a, a jet button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Eject, great song. So, is that an EP? Because it's like got four songs. Yeah, it could be good, like 12 minutes. Well, there's a couple of mixes, so maybe oh, it's I hate just them. a single. I hate mixes. Maybe it's just like a oh, single. Oh, it is a though. single, yeah, oh, yeah, right. yeah. So, is it a track from the actual. Yeah, yeah, album? it's from that album. Oh, yeah. Right, okay, yeah. But, and the mixes are like far more. Dance. They always than, are. Yeah. I wish they wouldn't do that. Um, yeah, so they brought out an album, I think it was called Asylum, with just the female, and this is a single called Charming Demons. Okay. Uh, which is not a bad song. It's not a bad album. It's more melodic, actually. Like less. It's not not really any rapping on it. It's more singing vocal. You said that they uh, progress quite a lot between albums, then. Yeah. Well, the 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 the, the bloke rapped really, and, right. and the female sung. Oh, so right. once the female, once, once yeah. They, they obviously decided themselves. They thought rap was shit. They got rid of him. Well, no, he comes <laughs> back and, uh, oh, and, and okay. then they rap. <laughs> rap that way again. Oh well. At that time, they saw sense for a while, and then they were those. That's what the, that's you, what the, you probably wouldn't like that as well. That, no, I probably wouldn't. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> so that's what the fools want. They want rap. We're gonna have to get him back. Well, no, let's some more stop this talk of rap. Let's talk grindcore. Uh, okay. Well, uh, old school grindcore, septic death. Septic death. I saw the back of it. Something yeah, I was thinking I Sodom. It. I saw the back of it because yeah. there's uh, yeah, more, more that is and... Sodom like, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Perseculus Romania yeah. look, look like that, doesn't like it? That, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Death. I've heard the name of the cover. Looks the cover's mental. I've seen that well, cover before. Basically, it's Pusshead who used oh, to yeah. draw the Metallica yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's his band. And he's got his own. Oh, this is his own band, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know he was in a band. Yeah. yeah it's that's... like. Oh, let's go see the door. That's never happened before. No, you came into a Yeah, we'll do. There's somebody out there. Yeah, these are um, uh, Pusshead's band. They're a kind of mix of sort of punk and early grindcore. Uh, I have but, huh. but the mental thing is, uh, is the cover. It's absolutely crazy. Insane cover. But they're a really good band as well. Very raw. But yeah, good stuff. Right, so where was you? You don't yeah, know what yeah, yeah. So yeah, basically it's like a kind of punky, I think early have, grindcore, eighty-five around. I think I've played that on my podcast before. Yeah. Someone asked me to play it. It's pretty good, but the cover is fucking mint. Did you give him a close up? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's interesting little work. It's gonna jump out when you go through records. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a f like it looks like it. I don't know what you call that. It looks like it could be a fairy or something. But she's like a zombie fairy or something yeah. like that. There's a few arms and legs on the floor there as well. Yeah. Things, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that looks like a coffago, is it? Uh, well, similar sort of thing. Um, I was mental on this band That's in the 90s. I know you're, you're, you don't mind them, but... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a separate yeah, 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 yeah. I was... This was one of my 90s fucking obsessions with separate yeah. It was a Rise album that got me into the band. Uh, yeah. I heard them on the Friday Rock show, blown away. I actually went and seen them on a Rise tour. The, the early ones no, were okay, but right I, away. yeah, I, I thought they were pretty decent, but I wasn't sort of massively, you know, mm. you know. <laughs> Okay. How did you end up going from there to there? Sure, You're so flush. I might edit that out. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> right, um, I, I, I don't know if you, you might edit this out, I don't know, but um, I was saying about Sepultura, like, I was mental on this band in the 90s. Yeah. Like, uh, it was like an obsession of mine. I, I, the thing is with me, like, I, I didn't mind it, I thought it was all right. Yeah. But I just kind of got this thing, if the band gets fucking... I don't know, the, the big bands, I tend, to, I tend to get annoyed by them, I don't know. Mm. And I tend to have a bit of a backlash. It's like, understandable. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Because they right. move away from fresh they're as well. Right. They're right, good, they're all right. Yeah. I kind of thought when they first, first album was the, like, uh, when they first came out, they were more like, yeah, my death metal. Like death. Yeah. yeah. They're much more death metal than I thought. We'll talk about them. We'll talk I mean, about I didn't know their early stuff though. I don't, even to this day, I never really went back to them. But I don't know, was, was it beneath the remains of a rise? Or only two, I don't know about them. Yeah, and then after good. that, they went fucking crap, didn't they? they no, of, not for me. Yeah, but they, no, they went all they commercial. Let's see how many. Really? Was, let's see how many records we can sell by getting rid of the bloody death and fresh and elements. Fun, yeah, was, and turning. We'll get to, to it. We'll get to it. Anyway, first you throw we'll it. Yeah. Well. um... <laughs> the first set which all I heard was Arise. Yeah. So that's the album that got me into them. So I was obsessed with that fucking album. Uh, and then I sort of like went back was to... Was that not the one after Beneath the Remains? Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. Before it, yeah, I so. And so I went back what to... What is that <laughs> Oh, you know in fucking Europe? Yeah. They, uh, they haven't done it now. Fucking um, the Cavadera Brothers yeah. are touring the Beneath the Remains Arise okay. tour. They're just playing songs from them to albums. I've seen it on like YouTube. Mm. Fuck it hell. Play here, you bastards. That's, that's you know what, we'll awesome. We're probably going to get even less fucking gigs after Brexit. <laughs> I mean, I hear this. It's going to be interesting. I never thought of Yeah, that. people are talking about lots of trouble. Like, English bands going over to Europe is going to be a lot more problematic, apparently. And I'm assuming like coming here as it is. Yeah, and I'm assuming coming this way may may cause more problems as well. Bands can't kind of thought to come here as nah, it is, can they? Nah, the amount of like big metal bands that yeah. never played England, you yeah. know. Anyway, yeah, this is the um the first album, Morbid Visions. But I, I wish I had the uh, Bestial Devastation EP because that was their first EP. I've right. seen it, but I never bought it. But this is lumped on the end. From from the there right, so is special on the end yeah. of that album. Right? So at the end from uh, track four side B is special devastation. Yeah, um, these were they were really young at this time, weren't they? Fifteen, fourteen. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Brazil are fucking crazy about their fucking metal. There's, yeah, there's yeah. a million bands in Brazil. They all wanted to be Venom and Destruction. Yeah, yeah. All these bands. The funny thing is, when they released Roots, right? That that was considered like them doing like a Brazil homage because there's a lot of Brazilian drumming and all yeah. that. But for me, the first album's the most Brazilian sounding album they've done. Because right. all the bands sounded like this because they all recorded at the same studios and they were all in Cogno Meadow right, records. Yeah, yeah. So Sarcophago, yeah. um, uh, Volcano, they all had that similar raw, yeah. nasty sound. But I was surprised they kind of like 
sort of, you know, it's really just a matter of... The guitar it, sounds it? terrible on it. It's just a matter of lack of gig. There's so many bands, like, yeah, yeah. like similar kind of, you know, and they were no necessarily yeah. no better than any of the other bands. They just got lucky, I think. They just... They just don't it took them a little while. I mean, yeah. it wasn't, they didn't really break into a great range, no, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then they kind of like fucking soared, didn't they? Once they got bloody, once they got that out, man, that's it. It's from whoo, oh, sky massive, was yeah. um, well, That's they, the best of devastation EP cover. But they rich kids in Brazil anyway. No, poor as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> poor I, I wasn't fuck. sure what the story Slum was. Slum kids, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, because there's a big blinking uh, money divide, isn't there, in most, well, yeah, yeah, American massive, countries, isn't there? Massive divide, the, yeah. the rich are super rich, isn't they? And, and the, the poor are fucking dirt poor. dirt poor, yeah. Plus the population as well, you know? Yeah. Because in their stories, they're like playing on biscuit tin drums and shit like that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Something like that. They, they only hired uh, Paolo Junior bassist because he, he, he had a decent bass. Right. Uh, the drummer had two, yeah, I think he had like one, one drum and one cymbal like that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah. but fucking, you know, to, to, I bet they can't believe it. Like, when you look at them there and, and thinking, well, wow, you know, they probably thought they would never get anywhere. No, most bands don't yeah. get anywhere. But, but, but technically and musically, you can tell they're, they're a bit better than your, your yeah, average fodder. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can sort of tell. So, not with this album, it's no. just raw and nasty. But there are so many it's bands. Good, though. I like you it. Just, you think to yourself, how did, you know, just, how did it happen for them? It's definitely, like I say, a lot of luck. You've got to have the promotion as well. Yeah, yeah. Got to have the magazine. It's lucky that someone like, chooses you, your band, yeah. over another band to, to actively promote What them. I would say is the Best of Devastation EP is better than Morbid. Uh, Morbid Visions. Oh, I always say Morbid Towers because they came first. Morbid, Morbid Visions is it's got a <coughs> better sound. Yeah. Bassier. Uh, and plus the tracks are really good as well but yeah Troops of Doom they, they always play Troops of Doom yeah still to this day yeah it's alright it's raw as fuck yeah I like the raw uh, like energy the abandonedness of it yeah it's just like let's just go in and play well this next album like it's such a massive leap forward musically compared to that one they bring in Andreas Kisser right as guitarist and um also look the look starts to change a bit. They start to look a bit more like American Thrashers. Yeah. On there, they're, they're like German yeah. kind of heavy metal studs. Yeah. And, and, oh, by the way, it's not a real bullet belt. They couldn't afford it. They got batteries. And, oh, yeah. I think I, I think I heard about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't afford There weren't anything like that on sound. <laughs> no. really. So, uh, yeah. So this is Schizophrenia. Pretty good album. Uh, the vocals sound pretty... Mm, Weird, but uh, it's the music's really good though. You got uh, es Escape to the Void, which is a uh, really good. Um, it, uh, Inquisition Symphony is an instrumental. It's brilliant. No. I love that song. But uh, but musically, it's such a leap forward. Inside. So yeah, that's. Yeah, I've, I've, I've probably heard those albums, but I never it's actually like, owned them or like. Yeah. I, know, I might have had my tape at one point or something like that. So they still got the old font. Uh, the, the font gets a bit more, like, yeah, yeah, a little bit more commercialised. Yeah. This was their sort of breakthrough um, yeah, record, definitely. really. But they really fucking broke through with that. Though, yeah, though, yeah. They? Like, so for a lot of people, this is their still their favourite album. Yeah, Beneath the Remains. Yeah, and a lot of them. It was Great like, album cover. Like when that came out, no one knew they even had any other I've got, albums. I've got point. fucking Arise like, and Beneath the Remains T-shirts. Yeah, they no, you wore them last week. Didn't I you? They didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So annoying. for your R show. What a twat. Um, anyway, quickly, big shout out, Alpha Omega. Okay, who's he, um, I, I um, saw these at Bloodstock, and they were on the Jagermaster stage, okay. didn't even know anything about them. But the Jagermaster, if you're a young band, I suggest don't go to the new Blood stage, do the Jagermaster, because you capture people coming from other that's, stages. That's Jagermaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jagermaster, yeah, 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 you're thinking of Yoga Master. I am, yeah. Either or Yoga Master. Yoga Master. master. There's a little, there's a little. Yoga Master, all right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's probably not pronounced that in probably German not. anyway, isn't it? No, I think it's Yoga Master. It. Yeah. Um, it's the Hunt Master, isn't it? Master of the Hunt. Uh, a Jaeger is, is a Hunter, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's well, the metal uh, that's why it's spirit. Got a, that's why it's got a deal on it. It's, it's the most metal of drinks. Yeah, it is kind of, yeah. Well, anyone drinks to get pissed. It's not yeah. just metal, but yeah. 
But um, that you were able to grab people who were coming back from other stages. Yeah. So I was just walking back, I heard this sort of punky, thrashy stuff. I'm like, well, this is cool. And they threw these t shirts out. Okay, so cool. Free. It looks kind of black metal. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. somehow, no, yeah. Like, no, it's got a punky kind of like. Yeah, they're like punk thrash metal, they're really yeah. good actually. So, Alpha and Amiga, there's not a lot of information about them online. Okay. Um, I, I think there's three demo songs, but uh, check them out, they're really good. Hmm, interesting. But anyway, yeah, so this is, uh, this is again, another leap forward. This is brilliant, this album. This is, this is on Road Racer, yeah. Is that yeah. the first one on Road Racer? Yeah, Road Racer. But that, that, kind of like, that exploded, didn't it? I mean, that everyone, they went from like, nobody ever hearing of them to suddenly being massive, and they started, you know, I think they might have had a tour before, maybe, when they were supporting not in, somebody, and they supposedly they supported them They supported Sodom on this tour. Was it that they one? They supported Sodom on this tour, um, and a lot of people were saying that, you know, they were blowing Sodom away. Yeah. And, uh, so, like, uh, the... Um, I think it maybe, it was the, maybe it was the, was after, the album after that they played the, the Hammersmith Foddian, headline and Hammersmith Foddian. I can't remember now, though. Well, I see you on the rise of Simit at the Town and Country Club. That's oh, what right. then. Um, lyrics? But, yeah, what to say about this? Fucking... Again, this, even though like, it come under the fashion metal, I, I think of it as being a little bit death metal, because mm. this is, uh, Randy Burns produced this, you got a guy from... Uh, yeah, at the time I thought it was a lot more kind of death, death metal, metal than really, it was thrash. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, Beneath the Remains, Inner Self is awesome, Stronger Than Hate, which has uh, John Tardy from the victory doing guest vocals. Oh, okay. Mass Hypnosis, oh, that's a, a look, oh, that's just such that's a good album. Hypnosis. Yeah, it's such a good album. It's been a long while since I listened to that, I must admit. But yeah, those two albums, not too bad, not too bad. Pretty good. And then this, this was the first time I noticed them, and this really did blow them big. You know, this is the first time I did the world tour. It's a fucking cool album cover. Yeah. Uh, it's Arise. I love Arise. It's, a bit of a it's got a bit more of a sort of chunkier production than Beneath. No. Um, but it's, it's a thrash metal record, similar sort of style. Um, Deborah Ember on itself yeah. is an awesome Desperate Cry. Altered State is the first song I ever heard. Under Siege, Infective Voice, Wicked Album. Uh, oh, upside down, or you got no, it's nah, just, it's just a slightly a crappy weird, old yeah. sleeve from where you've been taking it in and out. So many yeah, times. for you, yeah. yeah. Believe me, I took this in and out a lot. <laughs> What's go. the logo on the front of that one? Is it the same as the, the last album? I oh, know it's even, yeah, it's slightly it's different. Yeah, yeah. You got the old logo. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. the old logo on the inside. Still. It's the old logo. In yeah. The, Where's that plastic from? Is that from this one or from the other one? Have you got a plastic sheet there? Did you come off the wrong album? I don't know, but I'm going to put it in this anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think this was from ages ago. <laughs> yeah, possibly. You, you, yeah. you tend to miss them out. I do. Put them back together properly. Oh, it's the same Goppel, isn't it? I oh, is it off the same Goppel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goppel, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big album, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were in it, you'd have to put yeah. I want that covered. Did he do any other stuff? We never really got into that. Did Sam go off? I think off? it's the only album, as far as I know, with Lemmy on that lease, I think it's the only album. But did a guy, Sam, actually go into other stuff where you don't know? You never really know. followed it? I don't know, I never followed it. I didn't even know about this until... Like, so I you went to get, you, did you get it from your dad, yeah? I think my dad right, had yeah, this, yeah. Yeah. Should have brought my laptop for it, because I had some, cause I had some research. Well, a few hundred quid, I think. This guy, yeah. Yeah. So that's a rise, yeah, this was my obsession. What do you think of modern Sepultura though? Because a lot of people have gone, they've got, they've got a different singer now and... Yeah, well I'll, I'll, I'll get to it, but... Um, you got some of the other stuff though. Yeah, I, I, for me it's like, I, I don't mind it, it's alright. Yeah. Um, Did the brothers fall out, was it? Uh, yeah, they fall know? out and now they're, they're okay again. Um, I suppose there's a sort of pressure of touring, isn't it? Yeah, well basically I was at the last ever gig with Max Cavalera, which was the Brixton Academy in the, on the Roots Tour 96. And they fell out backstage. It was over mm. the management because he's a wife, Gloria Cavalier was the manager. And I go, I was like, oh, we don't want her as manager. And oh, a big dear. fight ensued. Uh, That's not good when you mix family and They didn't talk to each other for like about 10 years, but they, they, they're, they're all right now. And they're, yeah. and they're doing the Cavalier conspiracy. Is he still married to his wife? Has he got a new wife? Oh, no, now? no, no, still married. Oh, yeah, right. got kids and all sorts. Oh, right. Um, obviously, like, also, at the time, there was a lot of trauma because uh, his um, grand's um, nephew, I guess, no, no, it would be his uh, stepson, like, died um, right. uh, when, he, when he was, like, a teenager. 
um, Dilo, his sort of nickname was. So when I see Matt Donaton, uh, Matt couldn't play it because of that happening. So oh, Andrew right. Kisser did the vocals. Uh, so there's a lot of trauma at that time, you know, mm. going on. But uh, anyway, yeah, this is the Under Siege single. Coat for it on the artwork from Arrival. Yeah, right, yeah, it's, it's the it's top. That same, it's yeah, the top yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Pretty nightmarish that arise, isn't it? It's a great cover. We have a, a live, a live sort of mini single EP thing. Right, called um, Arise. Live again. tracks from the Underseas Live in Barcelona. So they come out as a video. Brilliant oh. video, it is absolutely brilliant. It, uh, in in this verse of the like the the um, music, you got um, Max. And the band talking about Brazil. Right. Look at the sign. Sorry, I'm oh, right. <laughs> looking at the battery, mate. Yeah. Um, talking about Brazil and and all that. Let's get a charger. Out. I reckon it's gonna run out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> that another car. Long old day, isn't it? Long old day. So yeah, there you go. That's a, a live EP. It's really cool. It's a great video. That is. Mm. I can't remember some of the song on live, I think it must have been at least at least one, probably more than that though, I'm sure. Well, but at least twice probably, <coughs> but I can't remember. And I definitely saw it on the Hammersmith Odeon. I can't remember who was supported though. Okay. Might, might have been forbidden. I've never seen that Hammersmith O. Or, or Mortal Sin or something like that. Yeah. Right, this is um this is interesting times because um like this single come out before the album come out. And I really like I really like the track territory, but it's slow. Yeah. And, and uh, one for territory. Yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, and uh, but by by Tech is Godzilla is fast, like a fast number. That's a cover. So I thought they were gonna stay as a flash band. Right. Um. So this is a territory, brilliant, brilliant uh, track. It's the single. It kind of went ethnic, kind of ethnic, kind of Wait, rock or something. I don't know what you call it. ethnic metal. World music. Like, yeah, yeah, world, yeah, world music, music. Yeah. Yeah. So. They brought this album out again. I, I love, I love the cover. It's a brilliant cover, Chaos AV. Oh, yeah, I forgot and, about that one. Yeah, and and the thing with this is, like like you and like a lot of people, I was initially disappointed because the thrash had gone. Right. It's more of a groove kind yeah. of thing, and, and slightly industrially thing yeah. going as well. But now it's arguably my favourite album. Okay. Because I love his vocals. Are really tough. The guitar sound is fucking the best, and I love the album now. It's brilliant. But there are a couple of thrashing numbers on it, mm. but but yeah, they were moving away from the thrash like most people were. Cause this is like ninety three. Yeah. But it's all about selling albums. Yeah. But the funny they thing get is, away from selves. It, like it's quite a good cover as well. They it's got quite, massive uh, yeah, oh, yeah. like this band like yeah, definitely. around this time. Soon about Brooks Academy. Yeah. And Paradise Lost supporting. But um, no, I love this album now. It's brilliant. Yeah. Oh, it's signed. Ooh. I went and got it signed. See, first, of, first of the last time I had fucking done it, I'll never do it again. You know, the queuing up for yeah. a band to get it signed. I thought, well, I'll give it a go. Like, fucking, I was there for like two hours lining oh, up, you and you go up, and they just go, yeah. fuck off. Yeah. It's like, what's the point? So uh, I got that signed. It, it's, I'm not playing with them. I suppose the point is you still got you got the signatures. That's the yeah, point. But yeah. Fuck that. yeah. Well, that's the thing. What about? I want to be their friends. Yeah. I, I understood it from like yeah. they, they got no time. They don't even want to be there. It's boring for well, them. Well, of course, yeah. You know, so. Drag a bit, doesn't it? You say, oh, I like your band. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's only the fucking thousandth time I've heard that today. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Must be a fucking soul draining bloody thing to do. It's yeah. nice to meet you, fans. Yeah. Like you said, you haven't got the time to just sort of chat to them or anything. You've got a massive it's tune. It's kind of force thing. Still going out the out the door, I suppose. You know. So I've never done it again. No. I've never done it. Never done it again. But... I've, I've ever queued up for signatures at all. Yeah. Mm. Before we uh, do the next album, I think we're going to have to do another bit. Yep. Yeah. I'm on my first ferret now, I haven't actually read it. Oh, really? Ferret comes from the Latin word for little thief. When they're about, <laughs> you can be sure travels brewing. We still remember the night one such furry ne'er do well. Ne'er do well. <laughs> do well, yeah. My eyes got funny. Tiptoed into the thatched gribble. <laughs> the thatched gribble in and <laughs> start, stole himself a taste of our tantalising tawny tipple. Love for its full body biscuity taste. Now then, what's Latin for little feast with great tasting beer? What's Gives? 
Sorry. So that's from last week. Do you remember? Guys. guys. I was meant, it was Gibbs. I thought it was some beer thing. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah, and then I had the bloody well uh, re referment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my eyes were a bit better earlier. They feel a little bit funny now. Mm. Too much beer, probably. Yeah. A Moorishly malty amber ale. Get one of those, mate. Get one of these. Dark crystal malt delivers a full body biscuity taste. It's rounded it. off with a subtle floral and lemon hop aroma. There you go. Oh, I fancy the cream's that are strong for our stout. 6.5. Oh, yeah. Our that's, stout. A, that's a good one. Yeah, this is St. Peter's. Uh, a strong, dark, and aromatic cream stout. It's rich black velvet in colour with coffee and vanilla notes coming from a blend of local malts and hops. The stout has a smooth and creamy chocolatey flavour. Together with a satisfying bittersweet aftertaste. I want it now. Cool. I think we should have left to um, go to that drinking. Uh, was it Captain Tap? Whatever it was called. Yeah. We'll have to, what we we'll have to do? We we'll have to do a beer only video one time. We we'll go, we'll go there. I'll by, piss me again. Yeah, we'll go there by maybe like uh, beer. Ten, so we could do like a beer taste. Yeah, we we'll get like yeah. ten cans and like yeah. we we'll just like, have half can each just to get the yeah. taste for it. And uh, we can look at this colour and uh, give it a smell. Yeah, I don't know. They, they do smell. They do smell it for beer, don't they? I know mm. it's not quite like wine, but you know, yeah. maybe that might be interesting. This will get us pissed anyway. Yeah. We could have some vinyl playing in the background. Yeah. So it'll be beer and vinyl, but with yeah. uh, emphasis more on the beer. That's I'm a, now looking forward to the candle mass day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice looking colour. Yeah. That's a good looking, nice dark bloody. Uh, and I pulled it out probably. Yeah, yeah for yeah. once. I think I might have had that one one time. Taste it, mate. No, I'll give it a try. It's pretty damn good. Oh, yeah, it smells good. It's nice. Yeah, you can smell the chocolate. Don't smell as... It don't taste as strong as it actually is. Not bad, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. You can see, it's like chewy, I was... Yeah, yeah, yeah chewy. Because you, you can feel it in your mouth. It's chewy. Mm, well, you make yeah. it go like that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> folks. <laughs> Hopefully some of them know what we're talking about. Right, this next album really divided a lot of people. Roots! Bloody roots! Divided a lot of people because it, yeah. like, uh, it's kind of set with you got a little new metal, let's be honest. Yeah. But like, the, the drums were all like... Bum, 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 yeah, bum, what I love about it though is it, it really... It, it, it sounds so different to anything they've done. Yeah. And it is incorporating their Brazilian heritage. Yeah. I mean, there's Brazilian drums. There's chanting, yeah. there's all sorts of weird instruments. Tribal, I think it's, yeah, kind of like I think it's a really good album, actually. And yeah. the passion, vocally the passion of Max is fucking unreal. But at the same time, it's very simple sounding. Mm. Uh, I can understand people being pissed off that it's a bit new metal-y. But um, I, I, I love it. I suppose it's the sort of thing if they'd done it as a side project, they, you know, it would have been a lot more appreciated for Maybe, what it was. Maybe, yeah. But when people were wanting like, what they'd heard in the pre previous albums, for that it was a bit of a jar for... For a few of them, I suppose. And even his vocals are like more screamy, which is something a bit different as well. But Max has always said, though, that when they formed Set Patrol, they didn't want to do the same album twice. Mm. And when you look at the back of catalog, they didn't really. No. Um, but yeah, this is um, Roots. I think it's, I mean, you've got to think about it, it's a lot different to be like a creator than it is just to be a listener. Yeah. Like when you're a listener, you want the album that you love the most, the yeah. one that got you into it. You say you want to hear that? I, I, I'm, I'm fucking terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. I'm quite happy. Just, I'm, I'm quite, quite happy yeah. listening to the first album, like we recorded four times or whatever. Yeah. But you know, very, very close, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it can be a bit sort of jarring, especially when you look. They look at now. So you four out of five albums down the line, you listen to that compared to the first album. It's like, oh fuck off. Yeah, yeah. you know. But it's just the inevitable fi thing that happens in yeah, a way, isn't it? So yeah, strange. But no, I really like this album. Uh, this was the last one with Max, of course. Right. Um, so I just leave. <sighs> yeah, there's even like a, a song that they, they play with a tribe, a, a, like a, like a Amazon rainforest tribe. Okay. I'm fucking amazing. <laughs> Man, isn't it? I don't think I've actually listened to the album. Um, you won't like it. No, I don't think you so. will. I don't, I don't I know it's, uh, it's okay, but it's a little bit... Well, you know, that's that's the yeah. benchmark if, you, if you're not really keen on that. The yeah. rest. I mean, I'm not saying it all sounds like Roots Bloody Roots, but um, there is like a couple of fast numbers, but mm. I don't know, I like it. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough, man. Fair enough. Yeah, well, we were talking about um, a, a guy called Derek Green come in. I have seen Total Shore with Derek Green a few times. Um, to me, it's, it, it never, it will never feel the same. To me, it's, it's separatory of Max, you know. Yeah. But 
But they did do. Um, <coughs> I'm still a bit choking. They did do. It was uh, after this, they had a massive falling out, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they had the falling out, um, uh, and Max left. They brought in this Derek Green. Um, and they did this album, and I really like this album, actually. I've never seen that before. Yeah, Against was the first album with him. Um, Choke's really good, Against. It's, it's, it's a lot more sort of. Uh, there's a lot more faster songs on it, actually. Yeah. A lot more thrashy numbers, like Drowned Out. Um, Boycott's an awesome track. I really like this first album, actually. Um, yeah, show it to the people, mate. Show it to the to people. people. Let the people know. Yeah, Gents is good. Let the dogs see the rabbit. But it shows <laughs> out how much the Max Cavalier stuff is really liked. I mean, when you go and see a set of with Derek, They'll play stuff off the recent album, and then the stuff is usually all just Matt stuff. Yeah, it's um, normally the way, though, isn't it? It's yeah. the way. But, but I, I actually wouldn't mind if they played more of this album, because uh, I actually quite like this album. It's quite a busy inside city. You've got, you got blinking pictures and words going off in all different directions. Yeah, hello. Yes. Have you ever got Jason Newstead on one song, uh, like Metallica bass is yeah. a song on it as well, but... Um, they did another album, the, the next album was Sepal Nation, and I was thinking, yeah, it's all right. Uh, and I was just slowly sort of like winged yeah. myself off a set with Shaw a bit, really, you know. But um, but they're still going with Derek. Um, Igor's not in the band anymore, he's, he's, he's working in Soulfly now with uh, Max. Oh, yeah, Soulfly, yeah, yeah. And Cavalier Conspiracy. I've not got, I've got Soulfly on CD, but none on album. Um, yeah, I've never really bothered with Soulfly. Well, to be honest, um, like, um, their first few albums is much more of a sort of roots, new metal kind of yeah. thing. But nowadays they're like full on thrash now. Okay. Honestly, I'm not just saying that. They're full on like thrash metal sounding band now. Okay. Some of like. But they're still adding a few um, sort of world music kind of things. Yeah. But their last album, Ritual, was really good. But, uh, so that's it. That's my steps. And several two just means like sepulchre, isn't it? So it's like two. Grave, it? yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Grave in a uh, museum yeah. or something. Yeah. <sighs> All right. <laughs> we both went. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting, uh, plain looking, interesting cover. Yeah. Color, well, rather. Colored cover. Well, this is. Uh, something absolute, weird, I'm guessing. Not that weird. It's uh, one of the all time greatest albums for me. It's like, well, very famous and. You gotta have it in your collection, really. It's the the ultimate punk rock album. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's never mind the bollocks. The sex. Here's the Sex Pistols. <laughs> it's a completely, have it. completely pink on the back now. I didn't yeah. really realise yeah, it was yeah. pink on the back. So it's the yeah. The American version has the songs dotted about. Okay. But, uh, the English version doesn't. Uh, yeah. It's when just, did you get into them then? Oh, that would have been like any all my punk late late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. Um, what my new dad ever was into No, my dad wasn't really a punk person. Yeah. It was more um, Je a Wes, German, right. German Wes. Yeah. And then also my mate from Telford was into a lot of punk. Is that well. their only album? Yeah. Yeah. It's one of them um, classic one album bands. Mm. You know, there was a few punk bands that were like that. Mm. X Ray Specs only did one album. Ruts only did one album. There was a few like that because yeah. punk died as a kind of uh, as. A, a popular force really quickly, so a lot of bands just did one album. Yeah, but. and they were kind of like they were a way were a weird band. Their story, from what I've seen of it, it's just it's all like I don't know if it was manufactured, but it was kind of like they were being chased by labels and they fucking ripped off a label and went to another label. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like kind of, they're all free labels. Yeah, in the short of time weird they were shit they were getting on with. And like fucking, what's it, Sid Vicious was fucking off his face on drugs all the time, I'm assuming. Yeah, well, he I'm surprised they even drugs fucking, killed him, obviously. Yeah, I'm surprised they even managed to fucking get a band together. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, they, they formed in the sex shop down King's Road, hence that's why they called Sex Whistles. Okay. And Malcolm McLaren. Uh, yeah, they, they were... Yeah, because Malcolm McLaren was their manager, wasn't they? You, you could think <coughs> it was like... Yeah, it was shit manager, though. Yeah, but how did that, you know, a band of that fucking stature, they didn't do that many gigs today, even, or...? No, they played loads of gigs. Yeah. So a band in England, uh, when they did the God Save the Queen single, yeah. they just got banned everywhere. So yeah. they had to play a lot of gigs abroad. They did an American tour, which broke them up. But they, they, they had, been, had they been gigging before they did the, the album? Or yeah. Right. I mean, they I were... I've got to think they like, they're, I don't know, they was kind of... No, they were a well-established 
Man, I mean, Glenn, Mat Glenn Matlock was the original uh, uh, like bass player before Sid Vicious, and they were a, a pretty tight band then. Yeah. Sid Vicious can play bass. But, um, yeah, some, some like the TV appearances, like, yeah. just mental. No one ever seen anything like it before. Well, I was surprised they were getting on the TV. I think they, I they were going on there just because that was going to be controversial and somehow they wanted that. I don't know. They're... Well, the famous Grundy thing. Yeah. Right, where, uh, but that's not their fault. Well, Grundy was taking the piss out. Yeah. Yeah, but Grundy was taking the piss out of them. Yeah, it was golden, wasn't if, it? If, if, you're, if, you're, if you're drunk and you're yeah. a kid, <laughs> how are you going to react to someone golden you? Well, you have to carry around up again and get the charger, mate. All right. Running out of bloody battery load like, again. I don't want no pause in now. I want you to keep a solid flow of talking to the co to the customers. <laughs> <laughs> to the customers, yeah. Go on, how are you talking? Get on here. Oh, I don't know what to say when you're gone. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I was talking to you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah, basically. Um, <laughs> what, what? I can hear you struggling. Basically. Yeah. No, uh, I'm trying to think of the uh, record labels that were on because they were turned down was by EMI. Or EMI, they were turned down by. Oh, well, I thought they actually got onto them. No, they got onto them. Um, uh, A and A M was another one. Uh, they did one. I think they did one single on uh, EMI. Yeah. Um, and uh, they were told to. They were paid off, and then they wrote a song called EMI, slagging oh. them off. Oh, okay. And then they uh, went to A M N. And uh, trash the fucking hotel. The side all pissed. <laughs> trash the hotel. They were fired before they even fucking saw the day out. Um, <laughs> That's fucking just. And then the Virgin just uh, took them up. Oh yeah. yeah. And that was fine, you know. Um, there was the famous Jubilee boat trip. Yeah. Where. Um, Mount and this was actually, it. yeah, this was actually in the Jubilee year, wasn't it? Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Like I said, it was the twenty-five years of uh, her reign. Yeah, at the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember having a street party. Yeah, I remember uh, I was living, one of my earliest memories. Yeah, I was living yeah. down Sill Road. Yeah, so was, funny. Like, cause nobody, so I would have been seven or eight. Because it's so time. funny, like nobody gives a shit about the Queen now. No, it's that true. much. You but, know what I mean? No, it's weird, but then it was yeah. really controversial. It was bad. It's good. It didn't. Yeah. Why would to even... say to to write a song that's like not just lauding the Queen and saying she was mm. great was yeah. like, totally unheard of. And, and what are the actual lyrics? Because there's nothing like really fucking. It's not saying, nothing it's, really offensive. He's not saying, you know, because the queen. she's an old cunt or whatever. Yeah, like that. No, it's just yeah. the fascist regime, though. Yeah, it's yeah. Strong words. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, um, John Lydon's words were, were really cutting for the time, you know, and, and um, the authorities couldn't really handle this music. Yeah. You know, so did, you, did you see that going around on Facebook? There was, there was like, I don't know, some kind of symposium or some kind of talk about punks. And there was yeah. a few punks there. Right. Rollins was there. Oh. Uh, in from the Sex Pistols. Uh, one of the surviving Ramones. And yeah. uh, apparently him and uh, from Sex Pistols and one of the Ramones was with Mark Ramone, I think. Mm -hmm. They were fucking having a glazing row and he was fucking calling them shit and he was calling them shit. Oh, he hated American yeah, punk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ate the American one. So like, apparently it was a bit funny. of a car crash, kind of car yeah. crash television or okay. something like that. That's what I remember someone shared it on, it was um, Ben Rotted from, you know, the old guy. Oh, right, okay. He shared it yeah. up on Facebook and uh, I had a little, little look here. I mean, what you, what you would say about this album though, it's totally original. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's no, like, like... Well, but the thing is, that, I don't know, it's, it's just like, it wasn't really that musical, was it? It was just like, it's just like some people picked up some instruments and just fucking played the first ones yeah, they could play... learn. More musical than you think, though. <laughs> Glenn Matlock was a good bass player, yeah. he was the musician of the band. Yeah. It's more musical than you think, but it's simple. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. The, that's the kind of thing of it, though, isn't it? You look at it, like... This is fucking 40 years old now, and it was like, you know, you don't get no kind of... It was just so different from that time, wasn't it? Like, yeah. It just it's massively... Like, it would have been like the death metal of that yeah. period. Yeah, like, just coming from, like, from zero to bloody punk, you know, it was Ooh. just really kind of out there. And I was thinking about it the other day for some reason, and it was like, you don't get no kind of... Just the fucking look, just the fucking Mohicans yeah. and the fucking spiky hair and the studs and the fucking You don't piercings. get scenes like that anyway, no. like that. Suddenly it was all yeah. frog rock and flares, yeah. and then suddenly it was punks. Yeah, and it was complete fucking antithesis of the, <laughs> yeah. of the fashion and the style, wasn't it? It yeah. was just like... Crazy. And yeah. it was them having a go at prog as well. Yeah, but, you know. but it was kind of like this kind of like, ugly music, and, kind of, yeah. and also the way they looked was that like, they fucking, you know, it wasn't made to make it look beautiful, it made it sort of, make it sort of stand out. Yeah. You know, in, you know it was kind of... And as I say, there's no kind of youth 
kind of movement going on there. I think about the kids nowadays just fucking, oh, let's fucking put our trousers yeah. hanging off our asses. Yeah. That'll be, <laughs> that'll be us. Oh. Oops, someone so upstairs doesn't agree. Yeah. <laughs> Carly's coming for the ceiling again. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, right. that's what I was thinking yeah, the other day. Yeah, it's strange. Like, I, obviously, I wasn't too young to remember, but, yeah. like, you know, well, well you yeah, was too young, too young to remember. I was too young, yeah. way too young to remember. I don't remember Punk. that no. time. No, I don't remember seeing one in the telly. Young yourself, I was seven yeah. or eight, yeah. yeah. So, right, more punk rock. This is a band called Shame 69. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is their debut. These are pretty aggressive, actually. Um, Really, kind of. Uh, so what's their big song? I know the name, but I'm sure I must know at least one or two of them. Well, big also, uh, this is an interesting album because it's a uh, one size live, one studio. Right. Um, Rip off's awesome. Uh, Borsal Breakout. That's the name I know. Excellent. Yeah. Um, Ari Up Ari is quite a famous oh, right. song. Yeah, That's yeah, on yeah. the next album, but Ari Up Ari, come uh, on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's funny that the um, the singer. So you never any Courtney Reed actually during your C's. No, yeah. no, that should do. Don't sure waste that. stamina. Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. Um, they called themselves the singer called themselves. They were like the 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 dustmen of punk. Okay. <laughs> Which I thought was interesting because they're very uh, street and very uh, dirty, really. But quite aggressive as well. I think they were. I mean, I just what I remember they were a bit more musical inclined than <laughs> Sex Pistols seemed to be. Yes, you know, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. They're very simple. Yeah. Very simple. Well, most of punk was. Yeah. Most of the punk was. It was all pretty simple. But they were lots, again, lots of raw sounding or pretty raw as well. Yeah. 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 Um, it's hard to. Uh, because it's hard to compare any of the punk bands to anything because it was original. Yeah. Uh, and the only thing you can really compare it to is, like kind of like the 60s kind of rock stuff really but it's weird mm, it's weird how it happened yeah definitely tell us the truth well you know i think the american bands kind of started it, it up really so mm. they probably were just doing their versions of it you know and they're not like you know the, the punk kind of fashion so much are they they're just like kind of just normal street clothes that's, that's another thing pistols never look mm. like what you consider punk they didn't have Murray Eakins that's later on yeah that's that's 80s that's that's like the hardcore 80s is when the leather jacket spikes and all that all the studs back then they just looked like yeah. that yeah just normal kids no wonder how the fashion became you know as a punk no it, it, I think because they people did like to put makeup on and dress up spike their hair up and I think it just all got about, more all about all the fucking uh, the pogo dancing, yeah, and, the, and all the fucking spitting. There's a lot of spitting supposed to have gone yeah. on at punk gigs, aren't there? It was. Never quite understood what that was all the about. Funny, funny reason, I, 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 I fucking start. This was in like it. I mean, uh, you can hear old bootlegs of like John Lyons. If anyone spits at me again, I'm gonna fucking knock you out. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't like it. No, he's fucking. He would. He's fucking yeah. feral, isn't it? Really, he's fucking feral. And, it, and you know, like in America as well, the early punk and metal, they, we didn't get on at all. No. It was like, uh, like you it, back in those days, you would probably think it would never ever mingle, you know. But now, now you know, it's we'll kind take, of normal, really. Yeah. So this is the next album. This is like a punk concept album in, okay. in a funny way. Uh, this is the um, oh, what's it called? That's Life album. Um, Angel with Dirty Faces on it, that's a good song. Reggae pickup, there was some reggae in there, or you just called that? It's funny, it's him trying to pick up a girl with reggae playing in the background. Okay. It's a little bit of a concept album, there's right. a few of them. Um, but it's quite a funny album as well, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, it's alright, it's alright. So a lot of kids on, on the inside. Yeah. Interesting, what that's all about. I think they did like one more album, Hersham Boys, and then... Um, Kind of split, but they, I think they're going now. A lot of the old punks have sort of yeah, they're, they're, they're still like a live stuff in there. People yeah. don't see them live all the time. It's quite, it's quite a lot of punk goes on, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny because from this to this, it's just that's just so that's the kind of classic kind of like collage of like mm. uh, stuff cut out of uh, newspapers, isn't it? So just to reiterate how this is typical me we go from Chance to Nine to this album, which is oh my god, I love this album. Uh, but yeah, it's thinking, what's the one called? Simon and Garfunkel, yeah. It's Simon and Garfunkel. Simon and Come Garfunkel. On. Punk rock. <laughs> uh, this is a classic. Reach of a troubled world. Beautiful world. album. Oh, why? Um, I like Simon and Gar Garfunkel, actually. I, I, I want more of <laughs> albums and the next stuff you're not going to like either. <laughs> um, that's 70s, isn't it? 
Yeah, I think this it might be dead on nineteen seventy. Yeah, nineteen seventy. The boxer, I love that song. It's la la la, doom, la 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 la. That yeah, one. Yeah, you know yeah. That one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called the boxer, is it? Yeah. No, I never knew that. Um, Cecilia's good. Uh, nah, I like it. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Mm. good. It's just great songwriting. Good vocal melodies. It's just something to relax to, really. This was a massive album. There was, there was a bloody, um, what do you call it? It was like a meme or something. Someone was posting it around. If you, if you, if you cover up his face, yeah. it looks like the bloke behind him has got a massive <laughs> walrus moustache or something oh. like that. <laughs> it seems to have like that. Some posted it the other day and I was like, that's really good. <laughs> he just covered yeah. his face up. I want to give, give that a go. <laughs> No, not that way. Yeah, you got yeah. Just cover the face, not the not the. He's uh, got an even bigger moustache. Look, so he's got the whole fucking. Oh right, oh right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's he's, true. It's he's true. <laughs> Do it for him. <laughs> oh, I think we did it once. Yeah, I think yeah. I've only really got the picture. It's brilliant. He just cover up his face, and he looks like he's got a really droopy, big moustache, basically. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. That's brilliant. <laughs> I've never noticed that. You're so easily amused. Oh, yeah, that's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> it is quite funny. <laughs> Gotta look at that again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> Hours of enjoyment here. Well, minutes, seconds. I want the hot goblin now, bloody hell. The legendary hot goblin is a blend of smooth, rich flavours from chocolate and crystal malts. A crystal mouse, it says. What? Crystal mouse, <laughs> not crystal meth, I hope. Combined with a refreshing bitterness from English yeah, Puggles hops and a dash of citrus aroma from Styrian Goldings. A beer full of mischievous character. Witchwood Brewery utilises old traditions and new innovations to produce beers with real character. There I want to visit that place. I mean, just the bottles alone are awesome, aren't they? Mm. They're based in Oxford. I went to a brewery once. I can't remember which one it was though. It's uh, in the New Forest somewhere. Okay. Can't remember what name of what brewery it was now. Don't think it was Witchwood. Can't remember what beers it was. It's quite one of the one of the well known ones. But I can't remember for the life of me. I went camping in January. I mean, this is way back in like wow. ninety one or something. It. Well, I just been yeah. dumped by my girlfriend. And I was in a bit of a fucking downer, so I took, I took a week off sick. And me and my mate went camping in January. <coughs> it was fucking freezing. Oh, it pissed it down with rain. But we went to the pub every night. If, uh, we went to the pub every night, and it was good. It was oh, good. That's, that's yeah. Right, isn't it? Anyway, where was we? Any more Simon and Garfunkel? <laughs> no, that's the only one. But I would like more albums. Mm. Um, Did they? Didn't they end up being like? Enemies or something like that. Didn't they split up and then not being friends or that? Like, um, <laughs> like Paul Simon wrote all the songs. Really, yeah. so, like, he went off and went solo. Uh, um, Garfunkel did a lot of films. Uh, Bright Eyes, you know, oh, right. I think that's, yeah. that's uh, he, he well, sung that. Garfunkel, he yeah, all shit down. And um, uh, was it Paul Simon? Yeah, he, he, he was like he played Hyde Park last year. He had a bit hit in the eighties, and he was some um, yeah, like, Graceland album. That was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was uh, African uh, kind of like, That's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was all right. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah all right. I can't remember any of the lyrics to it, but yeah, it was interesting. Right, this next man, I rather like this poppy rock band, to be honest, but um, right. yeah, this is uh, these were massive in the 80s. Uh, Gibbs and uh, S, do I know? Yeah, yeah you'll know them. Uh, will, I, will, will I feel that punch you in the face? Yeah, probably, yeah, cool. but um, <laughs> look at them, just look at them. Yeah, it's like kind of 80s, kind of romantic yeah. or something, I don't know. It's, uh, Simple oh, Simple Minds, minds. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I love Simple, simple Minds. <coughs> <laughs> That's good, because you've got one. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had a few beers now. <laughs> yeah. um, this album's called New Gold Dream, 81, 82, 83, 84. It's not a compilation album. Well, but that was in the years that he's talking about, though. I'll take it. It's weird. I don't know why they called it that. But anyway, it's a really, really good album. I've only got a few Simple Minds, but uh, I, I do like them. Mm. Um, and, and it's one of those reminds me of the Can I Promise You a Miracle on there? Yeah. Is that them? Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that it's on it. It's on yeah, I saw, that's why yeah. I saw it, yeah. Oh, you actually you, you sort of really? flashed it in front of my face for a second. Um, Someone Somewhere in Summertime is no. on it. That's good. Um, promise You a Miracle. Clip Room Prize I like. Yeah, this was yeah. good. Album. This was, 
I, I believe, if I remember that, I think this was their first sort of breakthrough album. So they did a, a few albums that weren't very famous, and yeah. then they, uh, I think they brought this out. Very poppy, kind of. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's 80s kind yeah. of uh, commercial rock, really, yeah. but I, I still like it. Big fan. Um, Is that Virgin label? Yeah, Virgin. I'm just trying to check the year when this came out. I'm assuming one of the 80s. Yeah, I know. They, they yeah. mentioned 82. Oh, so yeah. I think this was the, the breakthrough album. There are weird old things on the cover, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think there must be a reason. Simple Minds. New Gold coming. Dream. Yeah. Um, Very strange. Then there's this album, uh, Once Upon a Time. Good stuff. This has got a... Uh, Face Collage. Face color, alive and kicking, alive and kicking. You might know that song. No, so it was a big song. Yeah. Oh, Jungle Land. Um, Sanctify Yourself was a big song as well. No, I think it's one of those bands where I know the name, but I don't know really necessarily yeah. know either. Yeah, you might know it if you heard it. Maybe. Sort of thing. Yeah, you'd probably yeah, recognize probably. it. Probably. Are they a British band? Well, I think. It, uh, I think it's Scottish because, oh, right. uh, well, British, yeah. yeah. So I know the singers have been Scottish, but I presume the rest of the band are from Scotland. I'm not, I'm not, not entirely sure, but, um, but yeah. Well, they got so big, and, and like, it, like Jim Kerr, the singer, started making his way through supermodels, and all oh, sorts, right. you know, they got, they got so that. It's a hard life, but yeah. someone's got to do it, I suppose. Um, they just <laughs> got to get into all that. <laughs> uh, good band. I don't know. What? What? So this is a great, great live album. This is uh, called uh, uh, Simple Minds Live. Yeah, Live in the City of Light. It's a really good well, live where album. Where is the City of Light? You know what? Was it London? No. Sao Paulo? Mm, I don't know where it is live, actually. I'm trying to see if it's a nickname for an actual city. It's got, um, not, not Paris, is it? I remember seeing the video as well, but mm. it's a really good live album. There's the back, it's a gatefold with a little booklet. Nice little package, actually. Quite a big booklet, there. Yeah. Let's have a little uh, shifty with the booklet. So you don't get you don't get this on CDs, yeah. Yeah. Nice That's big old live shot. Uh, live shot. Live yeah. Shot. Yeah. I might have to see if I can work out where it's recorded. Yeah. It's got to tell you something. Because it was an it, open air gig. I know. I mean, big old open air gig. Lots of open shots. Here we go. Uh, Recorded live at Le Cenif, Paris, France. Oh, yeah, Paris, France. There you go. Okay. August 86. So Paris must be the city of light then. Mm. Great live album. So this is the, the, the last simple ones I got actually. But there's more 80s albums. There's loads of 80s albums actually. Yeah. The Sparkle in the Rain is an album I like, which I don't have. But uh, this this was the last album that was a big album for him, I would say. You've not played this on um, Metal Devastation Radio, though. I yeah? haven't played Simple Minds. It's uh, one band I haven't I think played. I'm probably better off not. I don't know, you know, I'm a funny guy. I know you are. I'm a funny guy. I've played some, I play some commercial stuff on, on my uh, yeah. show. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> See, it's called, it clues in the name. It's Metal Devastation Radio. Yeah, clues Radio. in the name. Yeah. Not Elric Devastation yeah. Radio. It's Elric plays what the fuck he pleases yeah. radio. <laughs> yeah, radio. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is uh, Street Fighting Years, which I think was about 89, maybe 90. And it, this was the last sort of big album by him. Um, uh, you got Belfast Child is a great song. That was a big hit. Um, yeah, very quite political. They got into the old political thing. Yeah. With this album, but yeah, good album. Cool beans. Cool beans indeed. I've not got the wrath of Graham as much as I thought I would. So that's <laughs> good. I am rather pissed though. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. You I'm get just, you I'm, get more um, <laughs> accept acceptable in yeah. the piss, funny enough. Accepting and acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> To be honest, I said cool beans. I didn't know what I was. I didn't know what you said. I was just like, yeah, cool beans. Yeah, cool beans, man. <laughs> cool beans are on my third beer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I don't recognise the back of this one. No, you won't know this. Mm. Um, it's this, very weird looking back cover. Yeah, this is uh, Susan the Banshees. Oh um, yeah. This is their first album, right. which was the only punky album. They yeah, I'd say they were punky, wouldn't they? Uh, they progressed more into a kind of uh, pop. Gothic kind yeah. of stuff, vibe really, but yeah, the scream.
Yeah. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, That's right, right? Not the greatest album cover in the world, let's be honest, but mm. it's, a, it's a pretty cool album, though. Uh, again, Su Susie Sue, the focus, totally original voice. Nobody sounds like her, and if anyone does, they're ripping off her. Right, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's one of them. She's kind of like a little screamy kind of voice, isn't she? Yeah, but it's just a weird kind of tone she's got. But she's got a bit like Taylor Wilcox, so. Yeah, kind of like, because she's one of the first women in a punk in a way, you know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, such an unusual voice. Got it inside. What was the, what was she from, Toya? Was she just, just a solo band or was she, Toya, yeah, yeah, just solo stuff. Yeah. She was in that she was in that I'm sure she'd been in that some some old punk films like Jubilee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She and like and then, then she uh, after the punk day we used to see her on like a uh, Kenny Everett show and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Her on there. And then she's she just started touring. She started doing yeah. children's TV, didn't she? Yeah. I'm sure she was doing, and like yeah. when she talks, she's got a lisp. She's yeah, she's got a lisp. Like, funny yeah, sounding. super cute. Yeah. yeah. She still looks great now. Yeah. So does Susie Sue, incidentally, by the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, they're not going anymore. I think she does the odd solo thing. They've got a side project called Creatures. Okay. I think they might still be going, but. Susie and the Banshees. I wonder if you've got to run down many of the punk bands, sort of. Did well enough to like to, to you know, live off their music. I mean, how big was the punk scene? Do you reckon to be you know? Pistols, even though they were like the seminal, almost a seminal band, and nothing from their music mm. back in the day, no, nothing at all. Um, I don't know. Clash were probably um, monetary wise probably the most successful. Yeah. Because they did big tours in America, and plus they you know. Quite frankly, I think they went a bit shit and a bit too commercial. So oh, yeah. uh, they, they, they were a bit successful. more serious as well. They weren't, they weren't so much drugs and alcohol and, and maybe I, I don't know. Sure. Like, they were also a little bit more musically accomplished as yeah. well. Clash. So they started off punk, then they got more, much more into like the funk and reggae sort of thing. But they I, saw really that, I, I reckon a lot of bands at that time must have seen the way rumours blowing and go, "So I suppose it must be a bit." Punky, really? Yeah, you know, really? yeah, yeah. 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 You can imagine, like, you come in that time and you see how big it is. They probably thought, well, we must we've got to try and include some elements to yeah. appeal to people, which Iron Maiden never did. Of course, Iron Maiden stuck to their metal guns and look at it. They did all right by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like you know, just stick to your guns because uh, music is like a full circle. You could become popular again. You yeah. know, you just never know, do you? But yeah, I, I like to think some people like to change and do different things. Mm. I don't mind bands doing that as well. I know you've got a problem with that. <laughs> yeah. How dare you do different things? There's, yeah. But, yeah. you know, who knows, who knows. But a lot of bands that have done that, they've gone back to the, their original stuff after a while. Yeah. They get they sort of do the one or two albums to try and get a bit more uh, money as well. Realise that ways. Yeah, go yeah, back to what yeah. they did. Right, I'm, I'm not sure you would like this oh, band. Oh God, yeah, no. I like this. Yeah, this album is special. I've heard of them. Oh, is that actually her name? Was it actually the name of the band? No, Skunk and Nancy was, um, and I, yeah, it was, it's just a funny idea they had. I, I can't remember the story, damn it. Is it a Nancy the Spider, the, uh, the, like, uh, Trixie Nancy God? Nancy side. No, it was a Nancy, it wasn't a Nancy, it was the Spider God from, uh, I think, Africa or something like that. Maybe, and that maybe. The Spider God, I think it was a bit of a... I know they just made God. up the name oh, with a couple right. of ideas, but I can't remember, I can't remember what, what was her name? Why. Didn't she, what did she call? She something. haven't... I thought maybe it was her name. I remember no, she no, a, no. I'm sure she had a bit of a funny name. They all have, um, Ace, Skin and something or other like you know but now this is a great album i love the first album um paranoid and sunburn is paranoid it? album sunburn this is skunk and antsy mm. um this album like even though it has like a few sort of ballady stuff this is quite heavy you know you've got selling jesus uh intellectualize my blackness oh, it's like, <laughs> a little baby swast sticker <laughs> Um, what were they? Were kind of punky? Punk, no, punk? no, I would say they're, they're, they're a rock band. Yeah? Just straight up rock band. Because um, they got very, they got quite big and popular, you know. Yeah. A uh, week. Because uh, there's some ballady stuff like I Can Dream of Week. And there's some really uh, heavy songs. It takes blood and guts to be this cool, but I'm still just a cliche. Right. <laughs> yeah. I think the, 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 um, the next album, Stoosh, and the one after, we've got... I think progressively more commercial. But, yeah. uh, they're still good albums, but I really like it. There's a singer one. called Skin because of her skin in. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I can't remember. 
And then the guitars go to Ace. Um, but they've reformed as well, because they split for quite a while, and they've reformed uh, fairly recently, so... Yeah, good band, good band. Great focus, I mean, her voice is... I don't think I know any of the songs, but I know that I saw them around a lot. I think yeah. maybe... Well, they're getting, they, were, they, were, they were getting mentioned in some of them, like, metal magazines, weren't they? Some, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they went a bit beyond that, because they were quite a bit more um, commercial and popular. They, they, they were everywhere, really. Aww. But yeah, no, they were, they were cool. Right. This looks a little bit heavy. Yeah. Is it, could it be? Yeah, it is. Yeah, one problem, I've got the first album syndrome again. Well, well, you've got the first album no more, or you haven't got the first album? I haven't got the first album. What a fool. What a fool. <laughs> Why not? I love the first album. I haven't got Show No Mercy by Slayer, which I'll have to rectify in my life. Um, which is great. Um, I love the first album, actually. Um, but I've got the uh, Live Undead uh, album, which is live from that era. Um, it's a great live album. The only the only thing is I don't know if you know about this. But was it not like recorded in the studio or something like that? No, I well, don't... it wasn't actually a gig. I'm sure I remember hearing it wasn't actually okay, a gig well, or something. Okay, you might know more than me. I'm not. I'm, I just it rings a bell for it's something. Called live in New York City on the '84 haunting North American tour. Okay. No, it's weirdly produced because. America's scream and shout a lot, yeah. and all you can hear is shouting and screaming in the background, like almost like it's a bootleg. Right. So yeah, playing away, and you can hear yeah, woo, yeah, woo. So it sounds like it's recorded from the back row well, yeah, by the yeah. stage, straight through the monitors. But it, it's strange because... Um, yeah, I'm sure I remember hearing something about the way it was recorded. It was like recording in the studio to like a... Like with people like actually watching them in the studio. I don't know about that. Maybe because of what I've said, people have maybe put that on it. But I'm sure I would. I would, I would think it's live. I don't yeah. think they would have cheated. I don't think it was live at an actual venue, an actual gig. I think it was live. But they wouldn't have had a lot of money, so I think it's recorded quite cheaply. Mm. So you can hear the crowd like shouting and hollering. Yeah. You know, like the old bootlegs you used to buy and were, were recorded in the crowd? Yeah, yeah. It's like that. Because it's recorded by someone standing in the crowd holding on to a but, but the quality of music still sounds good. It doesn't yeah. sound like a bootleg, but you've got this, the crowd. Yeah, it's weird. Weird recorded live album, but still pretty cool. But it does... It's strange. Yeah, I can't remember what it was I heard, yeah. but I'm sure yeah, it's that weird, like it was recorded... Like in a studio hey, or something like that, rather than actually live. Well, live, but you know, yeah. not live at a gig. But I can't remember what I heard now. Well, Slayer got um, progressively heavier, yeah? because you got Show No Mercy, which was very aggressive for the time, but you can hear the Priest and Maiden influences. And then, like, <coughs> they brought out Hell of Weights, and you can hear a lot of the Phenom coming through with Hell of Weights. So there's a Hell of Weights album. Got a bit more ball. aggressive, yeah, Gatefold version. Pretty, pretty good album. Quite nasty. Nasty for the time. Classic, cl classic bloody new logo as well. Necrophiliac. Come on, this song called Necrophiliac. Mm. Come on. Gatefold. This Slayer was probably the most aggressive stuff to hear at the time. You know? Yeah, I think I remember it. I remember yeah. it. My, my, one of my brother's mates who suddenly got into metal for a while. And uh, he, we first played it and I was like, what the fuck? I bet. He was like, oh. Yeah. But I think the first one we, we heard though was uh, Rainy Blood. Oh, that's, that's, that, like, oh. that's diving into the <laughs> fucking... <laughs> that's diving into the deep end yeah. shit, way, isn't it? You yeah, know? it's just, just like, started like, doing sound or something. Yeah. Yeah. So this has got Hell Awaits, Kill Again, I like. At Dawn They Sleep is awesome. Um, Capture of Sin. Really good album. I love Slayer. Slayer are just like most metalheads are just, yeah, yeah. They're obsessed about Slayer, just one of them bloody bands. Yeah, like I, I said to you earlier, like, I don't know any metalhead that don't like Slayer. I think there are some, but it is one of those ones where you think, well, how can you not like Slayer? Yeah. You know, and there's a lot of people. I personally have never met one. No. There's a lot of people that are a bit fucking crazy over Slayer. You get a lot of. Good kind man. Of... Slayer! Yeah. 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 I know. I was fucking at a festival one once and fucking. Someone was doing it every fucking ten minutes, and it was ten. Oh yeah. fucking hell! I got really fucking cheesed off. It, it, it is quite funny though. Where I've seen them at festivals, and the, the band's on, and they're shouting Slayer yeah. over their band. That's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> you know? It is a bit though. Over TT. Yeah. No, but they're fucking. You can't fault their fucking. What they did for thrash, man. What they did for metal, and uh, I mean they had a couple of dodgy ones. 
uh, tools. You know, even they weren't that bad, really. You know, I mean, they're mm. not as fucking good, maybe as Rainy Blood. I mean, fucking hell, it's hard to recreate something as good as Rainy I'm, Blood. I'm like, like it's, because I'm an old fart, um, like your good self, I sort of like, it's the same, I, I just sort of die off with bands. Yeah. And I, you know, um, you, you'll see you'll you'll see when I start to die off because I, I ain't got any more finals. Yeah. But then I think towards the end of the, the, I can't remember the last It's always one. good line. There was one where they, they did come back and I thought there was a good album again. I can't okay. remember. Yeah, I can't remember, I can't remember, I can't remember the fucking names. Well, yeah. it might the be days. here. It might be here. Right, so look, anyway. Well, next up, well, the first album I, <coughs> first album I ever heard by Slayer was actually South of Heaven. Oh, I know. Uh, when that came out. So, um, that was quite a melodic album. Probably, arguably their most melodic album. Yeah. So I never got the sell-out thing. The Granny Blood was really aggressive. But I, I never experienced that. So when I went back and listened to Granny Blood, I was like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Well, here it is. I mean, this is the, probably the ultimate greatest thrash metal album. I mean, you know, it's debatable. 28 but, minutes of perfection, isn't it? It really is. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's the production of it. Yeah. No, no, like even fresh bands of this at this time couldn't get a production like this. It's so fucking big. What gets me with that? Like, I might not listen it's to so, it for now. A few it years. don't sound dated. No, exactly. That's what I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. say. I listen to it again, like yeah. in a car journey for like for the first time in, in probably well. I don't know fucking five years, and it was just like still pounded blowing you your way in your face, isn't yeah. it? It's blowing you away, and you like, and they used to slow like, things up. You go to a gig, and after the gig, they play out with fucking uh, Angel of Death. Yeah. Or they play, and it just fucking, it's just, oh, it's just such a fucking good song. Just from the fucking ah, yeah, right at the beginning, and the lyrics it's, are just oh, brutal. Yeah, fucking, that's Jeff and Hammond. All the fucking dragging, you know, you just want to, yeah. you want to kind of airplay every bloody instrument yeah. on there. And that's the late great Jeff Hammond, anyway, yeah. Angel of Death. Yeah. Um, they they actually um, it was funny because they were on um, Def Jam. <laughs> they were on Def Jam, which was that <laughs> they did. That was so fucking funny, Eric. Can I just could, right, like, right. let's recreate yeah. Eric there? He's yeah. holding this Def Jam recordings in front of his face like that, yeah. and he's going, "Oh, they were on." Um, and he starts looking around, trying to, <laughs> trying to remember what album they were on. <laughs> and then, like read it over my shoulder. <laughs> Def Jam. Def Jam. Yeah, they were on Def Jam. Yeah. How did you know? I don't know, really. uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was Rick Rubin, wasn't it? Yeah. Who, who did all the thing in... Um, rap stuff and that. Yeah. And then he got right into the rock and metal and did a lot of that as well. Yeah. But, um, he was probably responsible for, for, for a fair bit of the crossover as well. Yeah. Well, he did the... He um, playing like, metal to some of the rap artists. He was the, was, yeah, well, he did the famous yeah. Aerosmith run DNC uh, collaboration. Did he have to do that, a Judgment Day film as well, was that... That might have been him as well. Yeah. That was the first time you got a lot of yeah. a whole album of that. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. But no, I mean, it just sounds so fucking big and huge. Yeah. But the songs are all fast and ridiculous. It just fucking pummels yeah. for about rel 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 relenting, doesn't it? You know what uh, Kerry King said um, about the... Because um, Andy Wallace, uh, who mixed it, yeah. he goes he, he wanted it to, the people to feel like they were being punched. Yeah. In a punk, like, yeah. And uh, Kerry King said, like, what happened was because the other album, Folkly, and a lot of the music had a lot of refurb. Yeah. It goes, they took away the refurb and put everything there. Mm. And that's what you're saying. It's fucking direct into your fucking head. <laughs> so, yeah, Rainy Blood. It's amazing. So energetic, so, so fucking, that's <laughs> a good pace. Yeah. And then when it talks, then it was like, the last thing, Rainy Blood, the, the last one. song, it suddenly goes fucking, you know, you go for a run and storm and it goes yeah. quite and it got a little bit of fucking atmosphere kind of going yeah. on like like you know like you in hell or whatever yeah, and, dun, 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 dun. yeah fucking hell it's just and, and uh, yeah. my... Oh, it's, fucking, it's, mad, it's chilly, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it gets to that, but you've been fucking be scared. You've been like that, being blown away by the fucking and then suddenly he gets to that and it's like oh puts a chill down your spine. Fucking like all the sacrifice Jesus saves is like that's like one song goes into the next song, it's just yeah. uh, and the thing with uh, Rain and Blood on, on the vinyl is, uh, you know, at the end of the song, you get the noise and then the rain comes yeah. in and it fades out. On the vinyl, it's through the last groove. It's continuous. Oh, uh, when you carry on yeah, playing. Yeah, raining. Oh. Forever, if you need to hear one. Yeah, so that's cool. So, yeah. Um, and then they, uh, they did this album, which was the first album I heard. I love this album. Yeah, it's an right album. It's, it's a slower pace. Yeah. But it's, it's got a good kind of groove to it, though, isn't it? It's yeah. got a kind of good... It's it rum sound awesome on it. Yeah, and it, it, although it's slower, it sounds like malignant or kind of yeah. like um, 
not trepidatious, but I know it's something about it. It's got an aura of like a, I don't know, south of heaven aura. Yeah, an aura yeah. of menace, and it just yeah. It's I think um, uh, also to, the way Tom delivers the vocals as well, it kind of carries you along with the song. You know? Yeah, a little less aggressive with the vocals yeah. than, than previous albums, but uh, I love it though. So yeah. great album cover again. Um, really good. So yeah, even though it's slow, it's still got that. Fucking, it still grabs you. Still grabs you. Def Jam. What was it again? Def Jam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Bastard sounds be got your cunty daughters, incestuous mothers of yours. All right, I'm coming out. Yeah, I'm coming out. His father's with your incestuous yeah. daughters. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Fuck knows. But yeah, yeah some incest going on. Yeah. Oh, no, no, south of heaven. It's a lot slower pace, but he's still. Wait, riff, like, yeah. yeah. And the evil fucking lines, you know, that, that, da 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 you know, it's just great. Yeah, that, that, he wrote that about, um, uh, hell on earth. Yeah. Basically how, how hell is yeah. actually on earth, not right. any sort of, yeah. you know, Silent Scream is awesome, Live Undead, Mandatory Suicide, yeah. fucking Mandatory bollocks. Mandatory Suicide. Uh, they do Judas Priest, Dissident Aggressor. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's quite melodic. The drums are really <coughs> loud on the album. Really good. Yeah. I like it. And then this one, which is also extremely good. Seasons in the Abyss. Yeah. Um, more ensemble, isn't it? That one? Yeah. It's a That's bit, a faster one as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. More aggressive well. uh, vocally, this album. Yeah. And um, it's got a similar style to the South of Heaven. But the I really final like act it. is not a drill. How many people? Yeah. I can't kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking wicked song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we play it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, South of Heaven. Awesome stuff. I'm, I'm kind of getting refreshing because I've yeah. fucking forgotten. I've listened to what looked at it. I've kind of, kind of fucking forgotten that album. Yeah. I feel kind of like a little bit. You know, when you start going through, I was thinking to myself, what is the name of the next album? I was yeah, like, what's yeah, the name yeah. of the next album? It feels like I've been so fucking long. So so I've, it, yeah, 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 I've really sort of given them. Well, yeah. we, 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 we we listened to them years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking forgot them. <laughs> yeah, War Assemble was awesome. Spirit in Black, Expendable Youth. Spirit in Black, sort yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. Dead Skin Mask. Yeah. That's creepy as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A song with a fucking song getting killed in it. Come yeah. on. That's, <laughs> yeah. uh, that's based on the um, Texas Chainsaw Ed, Massacre. No, it's. Well, yeah, it's yeah, Ed Gein, though. Yeah, Dead Skin yeah, Mask yeah. was the. Well, yeah, yeah. that's true, because the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was based on. On Ed Dean, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, the society is wicked. Season in the abyss of time, yeah, so it's probably the most commercial society. sort of song. Pain yeah. and hate is all I see. Fragments of what it used to be, something like that. Yeah, and even though, really, isn't it? yeah, it's delivered like in, not in a flashy, but it's kind of like it's kind of haunting. Yeah, yeah, it's still got that going for it. But I think uh, I mean, you haven't got you haven't got any other after that, have you? Yeah, I've got. Is that another one? Yeah, yeah, it's another slide. I don't recognise the back of that one. It's a fucking underrated album. I love the next That's not album. God. Kill us all, something like that. No, no, no. I'll let you get on with it. One in, one in the dream, now. which I think is the most underrated yeah. of the Slayer albums. I love this album. This is Divine Intervention. Oh, yeah. This one from 94. Yeah, yeah, I've got that. I love this album. The tone of it, it's more modern, so it's a bit more down tune. Mm. Uh, they don't like the production, but I think it fucking sounds awesome. I think this is a really underrated <laughs> album. Paul, Paul Bossoff comes in as drums. Right. But his drumming is so good on this album. Yeah. Divine Intervention. From Forbidden, wasn't he? Yeah, from yeah. Forbidden, yeah. Fucking but man, yeah, awesome. fucking, yeah, big fucking footsteps to follow him. Yeah. Because, uh, he he's long, coming in and out of Slay. I think he might, is... he's back in him again. Like, yeah. you know, he comes in and out. Um, Jay's dropping it. Yeah, there's Paul Bossoff. They were going to make that the front cover, but oh, yeah. it was kind of bad. Someone yeah. slicing yeah. Slay into their arms. Is that going to be a real picture? Was that a, a fake No, no, someone actually did that. Someone oh. did that, it's even filmed. It's mental, isn't it? Ouch. But I love this album, it's really aggressive. Um, you got uh, Killing Fields. Uh, oh, it's not really on. No, I was looking at that, I was looking at that. Is it not actually on there at all? Is it not just hidden in the in the text there? No, it's not, is it? Oh, it's on the, on the here, though. Widowed woman sues over lyrics to song. The widow of a something man murdered by Free Skin as a sooner record company over lyrics by the rock band that's crossed out, claiming the music decided the use to violence. 
So is that actually? They never ever win the name cases. I don't know why. No, oh, there, there is written actually. Disso head. That was quite a fast one. Oh, the is brutal. Sex murder, art, oh, serenity yeah. and murder. It's just really badly. Uh, on a Killing films is weird. Two one three, which is uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, yeah that's that a fucking mental rep. song. The lyrics of that song. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's a uh, serenity and murder. Yeah, it's a really good album, but it, it's kind of. I don't know, people don't really go on about this album, but I think it's really good. Yeah, I, I kind of, I didn't mind it, but like you say, it wasn't nothing that's was quite as standout. I think at the time, I just listened to like Death Metal as well, so yeah, I listened to yeah, other stuff. and started to yeah, pass it a bit. Yeah, maybe, and you yeah. didn't give it as much attention as you probably could have done, you know? Yeah. Pretty decent cover. Yeah. Uh, they did this, uh, I think this is really awesome, it's a 10 inch as well, double right. 10 inch. It's, uh, Undisputed that it's just their punk albums cover. Right, I remember um, that. Yeah, really good. A uh, lot of American hardcore stuff like Furball Abuse. Um, that was their own band, Can't Stand You Damn. That was their own punk band back in the day. Okay. Um, that's Minor Threat, Guilty Being White. Filler, yeah, that, that's also Minor Threat. Um, TS Edit, oh, Final Pathification's DRI. Yeah. They did a brilliant version. Some that some are really good versions. That's Doctor No. Um, Mr. Freezer's Doctor No. Sick Boys GBH. Not enough European stuff on it. It's mainly American, but GBH one. Um, Got a numbered one there. Was that was it was it limited or? Yeah, limited ten inch. So yeah, undisputed attitudes. Really good uh, punk covers albums. Is that three eighty one or three thousand and eight? 381. That's not bad. Yeah. How many were there? You know, yeah. 2,000. Alright. Not a lot when you think it's Slayer. I, yeah. I kind of forgot about well, that. Well, the 10 so. inch. Maybe there's another version that wasn't numbered. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a 10 inch, but uh, there, there's normal versions. But it's such. A, like, they, they, it, when you hear the originals, like, they're great as well. But Slayer really, like, it's really powerful when Slayer. Slayer did it. Of two. No, it's two. Oh, yeah. Two little 10 inches. Yeah. Gemini is one of their songs. That's actually one of their songs they just put on. Yeah, right. It's a good song, actually. Quite a slow one, but yeah. it's a good one. I think some, one of the things that's sort of followed Slayer around a bit is like there's a, quite a few like skinheads and like uh, Nazis who kind of like like Slayer, isn't there? Yeah, they should. Seems, to be, away, really. seems to be like a, a thing, doesn't it? But you know, they, they love their punk as well, you know, so I first started in a way. Here we go, we got, uh, yeah, Furball Abuse, TSOL. Um, minor Threat, um, GBH. Nearly freeze me third B, he's still got half a stack of fucking vinyl ago. I know, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should make this a two part. <laughs> no. Fucking, everyone's left. There's, there's, there's hardly anyone watching our streams now, you know, he's there. <laughs> yeah, well, I only, only started promoting the last one recently because yeah. I've been so busy, but um, it's, it, it went up to 20 pretty quickly, though. Yeah. But now it stayed there. Yeah. <laughs> right, is there a quick supper day at Old Beer? Go on, start your on that last yeah. one, didn't it? Right, this ain't Slayer, is it? In this Slayer. Is it? God Hates Us All. Okay, is it? I'm getting confused with the cover then. Well, that's because um, it's not the uh, original cover, it was mm. the. Uh, this was the original I cover, think... that was. <laughs> And a bloody uh, nailed I've, fucking Bible. I think I've got that. I don't mind that. Um, I think I've got that on CD yeah. though. Can't do that for Frank Gather. Um, so yeah, God Hates Us All. It's a pretty good album. But, um, this actually came out 9-11, 2001. Well done. Yeah, how mad is that? Um, I didn't realise. Yeah. Pretty cool album. Um, like Disciple is awesome. Um, I love Bloodline, that's really good. Mm. Here comes the pain. Look yeah, at that. Right. Look at that. I don't even recognise any of those. Yeah, tracks. it's alright. But I was starting tracks. to like not caring a little less about Slayer. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I, I'll still go and see them live. Oh, like, yeah, but... yeah. I mean, I've seen them quite a few times. Like, never, yeah. never disappointed. Oh, I, I've got to say, I forgot. Um, there was an album after Div Divine Intervention called Diabolus and Musica. Oh, yeah, yeah, Diabolus and um, Musica, yeah, yeah. Uh, which came out around 97. Yeah. People call that Slayer's new metal album. Uh, I think that's harsh. Right. Uh, there's a I'm... little bit on it. Right. But, um... But I think it's a pretty bit of pieces on that album. I like that. I actually track. remember that Diamond Bristol Musica because there was a blinking UK blackish kind of frame. Mm. You remember the, um, Dark Heresy? Yeah, yeah. Dark yeah. Heresy, I think their demo was called Diamond Bristol Musica. Ah, okay. Yeah. 
Because actually, a, a, actually a phrase, yeah, some, some, some kind of timing, some kind right. of musical timing, apparently, that, that was originally yeah. thought was to be the devil's music. Yeah. That yeah. classical thing, wasn't yeah. it? Some kind of classical tempo or something. I like Dagobah's music. It's all right. It is a bit different, maybe slightly different for Slayer, but I, I liked it. Mm. It's still a pretty good album. I was talking earlier on with uh, my housemate Carly about having a candle mess night. We used to have a Slayer night as well, oh, actually. Yeah. Go through the Slayer again. Slayer night. Canavas and Slayer night. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Not in the same night, though. No. Oh, <laughs> fuck, it. fuck my old suits. Oh, red. 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 Lovely red vinyl. Lovely red vinyl. Blood. Blood. A bit of a different um, Blood logo for Slayer. That's more of the cut. I like, know, oh, it is the same. Yeah. Something that looks a little bit different, but it's not. It looks like it's kind of like a, got like a scarification kind of look to it somehow. Yeah. Like the like the uh, yeah, what he the, did, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah it's I thought that's what I was going for. So yeah, that, that's the end of my Slayers. They've done that uh, album since, and yeah. in fact, uh, Repentless, their last album, almost got in the top ten in the UK oh, chart. That's cool. Fucking cool. And what was the one with Infidel on it? They, they kind of went. Oh t- yeah. Um, they kind of it was kind of like an anti Islamic or almost. Uh, like, and well, Jihad yeah. was on it. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, what the yeah. Fuck yeah. Was that was called? good. That was Christ a good, illusion. That was a good return to form. Yeah, like, Christ illusion. Yeah, that's the one you're like, thinking of. Yeah. 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 And there was like when they f- people thought they were tailed off a little bit, yeah. And uh, brought out Christ yeah, yeah, that was, that was like, I good. thought that was pretty good. Yeah, was, I think that was after that. Actually. Yeah, yeah. But I thought that was a bit of a return to form. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> just depending this um the one where they all need like um video kind of thing for it as well. I don't know. Did they have like a video set in a prison or something like that? And it was, they was kind of like told a story through some videos. I'm sure really? I saw some comic about it as well. There was like a, a slayer repentless comic. Really? I'm sure there was. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm sh- I don't know. I yeah, don't I'm sure know. I remember someone showing that on one of the one of the old channels and one of the comic channels on YouTube. Okay. Right, this next album I fucking love. Right. I mean, um, looking uh, a bit hippie from the back. Yeah, end. I mean, this. The funny thing is, when this come out, these were a really small band. They got a little bit of airplay, but now they're just like the biggest fucking band. Like everyone loves this band now. They're almost hipstery. They're so fucking big. Okay. This is sleep. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is the brilliant fucking Holy Mountain al- album. I fucking love this album. Mm. Because what I love about it is it's like it's slow and doomy but raw and psychedelic at the same time. It's got everything. I fucking love it. Uh, they did an, the next album they did was Dope Friend, which was like one, one song, Dope um, Dope Smoker, which was one one hour long song. <laughs> That's a bit much. It I was don't fucking know to play that again. <laughs> they they play it. <coughs> They play it live, but they do it, uh, they they do it about it. half hour of it. Oh, right. But they actually, does it actually follow the actual song or they just make it as they go I along? I don't know. For the mad thing about that song is it doesn't even change that much. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, the That's, vocals remain yeah. the same, the riffs are pretty much the same, but the production is so, like, awesome. It sounds like it's going to be mind. repetitive as hell. Yeah. But this is brilliant. I love it. Dragon Ball. The Druid, uh, love, what I love about the Druid and Evil Gypsy, uh, uh, kind of almost punky sounding, mm. uh, more shouty vocal, which he doesn't do anymore, which uh, annoys me a bit. Do do you more shouty vocal, I like it. Uh, um, Aquarium I like a lot, right. Holy Mountain, I love this album, it's so fucking good. Did they ever come uh, over to London? Um, well, now nowadays, I don't know about back in the day. God, I, I just had a feeling I'd seen them one time. It's probably Slayer, funny enough. Okay. Um, maybe, oh, you, I can't believe you saw them back in the day. Like, I don't know, I'm not sure. Kill you, I don't think, know. Like, I, for some reason, I think maybe what someone was talking about it, but I, I remember seeing, um, oh, oh, Penance. Yeah. Who used Penance. to be Dream Death, and then came Penance. Right. And they came over, I can't remember who they played with, or fucking what the venue was even. But I know I saw them because I bought a fucking t-shirt. Um, but yeah, I had a feeling they played with some kind of stonery kind of band like that. Like in, but I don't know if it was. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm going to have a piss. Oh, that, go on then. The guitarist is in High on Fire as well. Oh, right, yeah. I've heard that. Same right. band, yeah. Which are more sort of uh, punky metal sounding, really. Okay. We'll continue. That's it. Right, well, let's get back to something you hate again. Oh, right. Just for, just for just a laugh. Just for a change. Just for a laugh. <laughs> it's like I do it on purpose. <laughs> Uh, Slipknot. Oh. oh. <laughs> I knew you. Yeah, it's new metal, I guess. Oh. 
What do we want fucking new metal for? Old metal was fucking good enough as it was. Didn't yeah. need any fucking new metal coming it's, in. Because it's new, it's good. Fuck, new is good. Fuck I love uh, I love this first album. I like Slipknot a lot. Um, very aggressive, like sort of. It, it's just kind of like it's kind of death metal mixed with new metal, and it, it is a bit rappy. But also, I like the uh, they had three percussionists, so you get a lot of weird sounds. Um, a lot of clean vocals thrown in as well, wasn't there? Yeah, it's a bit of clean vocal thrown in. Mm. Um, no, I like it, you know. Uh, and the thing is, there was a lot of bands trying to copy these as well. I mean, not as good, but I think the, these were like kind of original and best at doing it, really. I like I like Slipknot. I know I know it's not very a popular thing for an old school <laughs> metalhead to say, but um, I love the first album. You're just a whore. I am. You a listen whore, to everything. Whore, yeah, anything. <laughs> Um, yeah, Sick is awesome, Eyeless, Wait and Bleed, you know, Wait and Bleed is quite commercial, Spit It Out's awesome, Tattle and Torn, uh, Surfacing's awesome, nah, it's a great album. I don't but... recognise any of them names, so I'm quite happy Sizzles. about that. Yeah. I thought maybe something would pop in my head when you said it. But... I think this is a, a, the first three albums I that I really like. I mean, is that the first one? This is the first one. Um, and they did come, apparently came from death metal, didn't they? At least a couple of guys. A couple of guys, guys come from death metal. metal. What um, band was it? Do you remember? I don't know. The no. bass player and uh, come from death metal. Mm. He died, actually. Oh, right. um, I don't know. I mean, was the masks. Drugs? It was, actually, yeah. I, I believe. Yeah, it's a shame, yeah. I remember, yeah. The mask thing I thought was quite cool, but at the same time, it helped them. It was a bit of a gimmick. Yeah, cool. They, 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 they say it's not a gimmick, they didn't want to be seen. And for a long time, they didn't. They weren't seen, but they are now. Yeah. Everyone knows what they look like. But um, the masks are pretty cool, though. And each album had a different theme uh, with the mask. Mm -hmm. It got more brutal, the mask, actually, as it, as it went on. But that one there I like the fucking masks. spikes on it. It looks bloody dangerous. Yeah, I know. That's the sample guy. There's nine people in the band. It's kind of unnecessary. Yeah, you don't need Free a sample guy. Drum. Wasn't there one who used jobbers to get beaten up by the others or something stupid like that? Or fucking uh, dance or fucking... No. Or something weird the like guy that. did the old turntables. Like, wheel, wheel, wheel. The turntable guy. Um, it's not heavily prominent in the music, though. Um, the sample guy, two percussionists, a drummer, two guitarists, a bass player and a vocalist. Uh, so that's nine. But no, I don't think they're, the they're, they're great live. Folk, this is that guy there. Okay. What does great Long, live. What does long Nose Guy do? Percussionist. Okay. And, and backing vocals. Okay. Mental live. Did he, did he used to play drums with his nose or? He'd it, often masturbate it. Oh, he masturbate his nose. He'd love to do that. I've done that. It's never what, nothing with your nose? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing to write him about. <laughs> um, Fun enough, the, the uh, drummer who's left Slip Up now is in the death metal band side project called Sinsanum, which are really good actually. I like Sinsanum. Not heard of them. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Slip Not are good. Um, Definitely but, a kind of horror look but to them. Also, I can fully understand people not liking them. Don't, don't get me wrong. You know, even I get a bit annoyed sometimes with them, you know. It's a, and it's a Green Vinyl. Green Vinyl! Fully understand. But I just like they're aggressive. And what is the album really good called? Line. It's just Davy Album and Slipknot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who had an album called Iowa? Was that cool one? Next. Oh, it's Slipknot? Yeah. Oh, right. Next. Fucking weird name for an album. Well, it's where they're where from. Where they're from, Iowa. Yeah, yeah, that's where they're from. Enough. It's a weird name for a city then. Or a state. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Iowa. They're from Des Moines, Iowa. Iowa? Iowa? Des Moines. Yeah. Iowa? I uh, yeah, Iowa. <laughs> Uh, Des Moines. That's a fucking stupid name as well, isn't it? French. Yeah. Middle America, isn't it? It's probably, yeah. Lots. Um, yeah, Iowa, this is pretty amazing. This is probably the most aggressive and darkest album they've done. The amazing thing about this album, right, it got to number one in the UK. Mm. I mean, the most aggressive album to get to number one by friggin' miles. Yeah. Uh, how did that happen, you know? Well, they were big. They were being... Yeah. All the teenage kids. This is before yeah. emo came in, or was this emo came a little after? A little after, after then. maybe. Yeah. yeah. But um, but the emo didn't last long, like unfortunately. That. Yeah. 
don't think so anyway. But this is this is a cool album. Nice silvery cover. Yeah, look at that cover, and you've got a goat. Yeah, you can't beat a little goat. Can't beat a goat. Uh, you can't it see was, that. It's it too shiny. There you better go. Better than Bathory did it, of course. But oh yeah, the first Bathory album cover. I've got that as a coat. <laughs> I've got a Bathory first album coat. Oh nice. Yeah. Got a jacket or whatever. A hoodie. Hoodie. Oh yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Hoodie. Coat. Uh, what the fuck is that? I don't know. It's a kind of blob of some sort. This is wicked. The, the next album after this, which was uh, Volume 3, um, Subliminal Verses, they really move forward musically. They're actually moving a little away from the new metal thing and getting more technical. So I really like the third album, but I don't have that on vinyl. Oh, okay. Um, let me show you. What colour was the vinyl? The normal colour in that one? Uh, no, actually, never. Yeah, normal, yeah, normal. normal colour. There's the band. Oh, that's just boring. So the, the masks are slightly different. Mm. They're still going? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Still going. Uh, they've not been that doing anything, I don't when think. When was this? Was this late 90s or was this 2000s? Well, 99 is first album, I think this is 2001, I believe. So that's fucking Iowa. nearly 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Not too it's a long off. fucking time ago. Uh, <coughs> they thought they were only going to do one album. <laughs> At least they're not fucking drowning poor or some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> puddle of, puddle so, of mud. Oh, so it's, <laughs> to me, it's, it's so cliche, new metal. Uh, um, fucking new metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I briefly. Corn and Slipknot was, uh, was at the bad end for me. Shit. No, I love corn. Fucking corn. Fucking shit. Do you like the taste of corn? Uh, you like the food corn? Yeah, I like that's good. <laughs> you yeah. like corn? Corn with a C is good. Corn with a K is Edit that. Right. Say, edit that. Say, I like corn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. <laughs> I shan't. Hey. Uh, Snufu. That's basically who they are. Yeah. Not many people know this band and they're fucking great. Especially the first two albums. This is a Canadian hardcore band called SMFU, which... Apparently it stands for some notes fucked up. Okay. Look at that album cover. That's fucking the bollocks. I love that album cover. Evil Santa on it. Yeah, Evil Santa. And no one else of... wanted to play. <laughs> yeah, no one else wanted to play. <laughs> That's fucking sick. It's a mental album cover, isn't it? It's like a little boy's been chopped up by an Evil Santa. Yeah. Like it's just and his legs just... sitting there. He's like a teddy bear where, yeah. he's, where his torso should be. He's playing on the old track. Yeah. And basically put his body parts all over the place. Like his hands are there. His head's yeah. on the front of the toy train. His legs are under the teddy. Yeah. I think mean, that's his proper legs and he's just... Uh, yeah. Chains of blood on it. So the music, like the folk of it is quite melodic, but mm. the music is really raw and quite fast. Yeah, show that cover to one, yeah. Uh, we've been sitting there talking about it for ten minutes. Yeah, let's get it close the, in with this cover. Show it to the people. <laughs> this is a great band. My mate from Telford Dead's got me into this band. It's right. So good. Because isn't there a snafu as well? S N A F U. I'm sure there was an S N A F U as well band. Unless that's the same man. I don't know. I don't know. Cover. The lyrics are, as well are great. The lyrics are so a, good. A, I think SNAFU is a military kind of like um, acronym for a situation normal all fouled up or something like that. Okay. All fucked up, something like that. Snafu. I'm sure there's an also a band for Snafu. But, uh, so there's the band. Could be wrong. Gitter. <laughs> Gitter. Guitar. Uh, Guitar. Mr. G Pig Singer Man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, They're great live as well. They were like Evan C. Tadpole Jones. Yeah, drums, yeah. <laughs> um, great song titles: Broken Toys, Brilliant, Joyride, Cannibal Cafe. Okay. Misfortune, Grave Diggers, really good. Bodies in the World, Lose That Life, Lose That Death. Some funny lyrics. Mm. Um, yeah, really good stuff. But so that covers much more like a kind of death metal, isn't it? Kind of <coughs> not you know jokey death metal, maybe. Yeah, it's got. It looks more like that, but it's probably. Good. Oh, um, I haven't got it, <coughs> and I need to get it. Uh, the um, the second album by SMFU, which is called "If You Swear You'll Catch No Fish." Fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're all got mad titles. That's yeah. a great album as well, but I don't have that. The third album is. Um, oh fucking hell! It's another mad title that I've forgotten. But the first three albums are really good. Uh, but I haven't picked them up. This came out in the 
It's like Popeye on the back of that one. Yeah, Popeye. This came out in the nineties. Um, some something green and leafy. This way it comes. Something green, green and, and leafy. leafy. This way it comes. The role of something wicked. This way it comes. Yeah. It's green and leafy. This way it comes. <laughs> Right, show the, show the art to the people. Show the art. That's, that's completely different to the, the last album. To be honest, I was a little disappointed with this because um, it's the first album I bought for years by him and, and it's it's kind of too melodic for my right. life. It's too, like, um, not really poppy, but I, I, I like him ranting and raving a bit more vocally. It's, it's, it's a bit melodic. It's still a pretty good album. Though. What's that third album called? I, I need to know because it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> you know, I bought my laptop yeah. and I searched it for us. Actually, I might be able to do it on my phone. Oh, no, my phone's in the other room as well, so no, I can't. I mean, later on, this might be... Uh, 95, they did this album called... Is that... Is that, that Cyclops Baby on front there? Yeah, Cyclops Baby. Ugh. Um, the ones most likely to succeed. I th again, I didn't really rate it that much. I just like me old SMF, you, you know. Same old shit. <laughs> you know. um, so these are like punk, Canadian punk. Canadian punk, the same hard, sort of stroke hardcore band. Right. Yeah. What's the one? Eighties, nineties. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. I mean, that first one was eighty four. Um, the second album was about eighty five, eighty six. Mm. But these ones were nineties. It's a weird inside sleeve there. Yeah. What the heck? What the hell? Say Bob Hoy. For Bob Hoy, whoever for Bob, Bob Hoy. Hoy maybe yeah, someone they knew. Somebody you know. It's just they a know. weird little picture with for yeah. Bob Hoy with it. Interesting. Um, I don't know, I think, I think they're still going actually. It's just mad. But, yeah. Oh, what's that for the damn called? Never mind. Uh, 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 yeah. But yeah. But you have to look it up and put it in the chat when the uh, video comes out. This is going to be about a two hour video, I reckon, easily. Mind you, by the time I've. Uh, yeah, well, edit it. Yeah, yeah edit it. You know your last one? Yes, please. Let's read it, though. Samuel Smith's Organic Cherry yeah, Fruit yeah. Beer. Handcrafted at Melbourne Brothers Tiny Brewery, set in a time warp in Stamford, using our old manually operated brewery equipment. Finest organically grown barley and wheat are used to create a complex ale, which having undergone primary and secondary fermentation with different yeasts and extended maturation, is taken to Samuel Smith's small independent brewery, at Tadcaster. Oh, there yeah. it is blended with pure organic cherry fruit juice and more organic beer to create a fruit beer of considerable strength and flavour. The smooth distinctive character of the matured beer serves as the perfect counterpoint to the pure organic fruit juice. Best served at around 44 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 degrees Celsius. 5.1%. Best before I end seeing I've got work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? There you go. It's fun to open. The small bottle's always tougher to open. <laughs> I won't try that one because I'm not fat. No, no, no. Particularly. Yeah, light beers really. It looks quite dark actually. Is it? Is it? Oh, mm. you've got a little hint of red in there, isn't there? You can smell the cherry. You Jesus. can see the, the red in the, yeah. the milk there. Yeah. Wow, it smells amazing. <laughs> Bloody hell, this, this tastes like cherry fruit juice. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I don't know, um, I'm not sure. It oh, God. Don't even taste the. No, is that enough for you? Just, yeah, yeah. It's very that, strong. It doesn't even taste like beer. No. It doesn't smell like beer. It smells like, beer. It smells like cherry fruit drop juice again. Yeah. It's like a cherry kind of. Uh, oh, that's really unexpected. I thought it would be like a little hint of yeah. cherry. It's fucking cherry in your face. <laughs> Like a, cherry like in a, your face. Cherry in your face, isn't it? Cherry in your face, man. <laughs> How do you like it? How do you like them cherry apples? I mean, them cherries. Them cherries, yeah. <laughs> right, um, you weren't keen on this because you don't like grunge. No. Oh, Soundgarden. Yeah. yeah. This, 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 uh, this is the only thing. I see on the back cover. Or, it's, it's like Jarden. Something I thought was in it was Jarden, but it's just where the G's are becoming. This song blew me away, like, when I heard it. I'm like, what the hell is this? It's Jesus so, Christ pose. Yeah, yeah. it's so such an original song it's so weird like there's still nothing that sounds like this song like the, and also the, fit, the psychedelic video that come with it with the flashing fucking images like it just messed with you I, I love Jesus Christ pose it's just so this is a single or is this an album single, single. Oh, okay. it's a poster so that's the inside 
Jesus Christ, Paul. That's what I can remember of these. Yeah. You know what I used to play in the... Amazing folklists as in well. In the rock clubs. Yeah. I don't know if that got played a lot. It's not I remember really it. I wouldn't song. know it otherwise. Yeah. Definitely, I definitely heard it played in the rock clubs and that that we used to go to. The lyrics are weird to this song. There you go, poster. And the back. I'm going to hold this in. Though. Yeah. Here Got go. a little tear in there, you don't yeah. want to make any bigger. It must be a skeleton or something. Yeah. Some kind of skeleton thing. Some sort of skeleton thing. And that's from the video images. Well, so yeah. you can that, so it's quite weird. I think you folded it differently than what it was, didn't you? Yeah. It's not right. Let me give it. Let me do it. Let me give it a try. I'll taste. I'll, you, I'll you carry, carry on my, your cherry beer. My cherry juice. You carry on losing your cherry. Ooh. There you go. There you go, I'm just going to paint you in the head low, there you go. Have you done it for it's me? All, it's all done, Thank there you, you. go. <laughs> How does he get that in? <laughs> no, come on, you're not being PC now. <laughs> oh yeah. You'll get us pulled off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. YouTube strike. That's quite a big old bloody post for I love thing. Bad Moment Finger album, I'd love to get on vinyl, but uh, I haven't got round to it. Right. Well, this is the only... Um, uh, album from this band that have been around for about a hundred years and oh. done about a hundred albums was only really got one. Only got one. But, There's probably one uh, more than I've got now, I suspect. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Um, this was their actual breakthrough album. Um, they were a sixes band with a little bit of success. Okay. And then they become a boogie rock band, uh, but it was this album that uh, got them noticed. This I've, is, uh, I've not guessed it by the name. Status quo. Oh right, okay. It's the pile driver. I didn't fall about that. Status quo. Yeah, I, I love the, like, <laughs> the early status quo is really good. Yeah. But I've only managed to pick up the one album, Pile Driver was yeah the, the first one. It's got um, Big Fat Mama, which is a great song. Um, uh, Paper Planes on it. That uh, Roadhouse Blues cover. Ah, it's really good. It's really good. I don't recognise any of them. Rock. They're a good rock. They were. Back then, when the Pile Driver... The name, name Pile Driver is familiar, though. Yeah, they did a beer. I thought it was yeah, a beer. Oh, I didn't realise it was a Scottish Quo beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scottish Quo beer. And not, you know, they're, they're air bang, yeah. you know, it's like... They're well, a I, I kind of remember them, because they didn't get... Fun. When did they fucking start? 60s, you said? Yeah, 60s. Because I kind of... I never sort of remember them as being like a... Kind of a pop band, because they were, on the, yeah. they were in the charts. Yeah. But they were kind of like a slightly rocking pop band, weren't they? they, but, they, but they, they guitars, they guitars and drums. Yeah, yeah. But, but the sound was like... Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, it's a good album. Uh, on the level is good. They did a bunch of albums in that seventies period that were really good. Mm. Quo, uh, Hello, they're all, all really good albums. And one of them died the other day. Oh, you didn't know a couple of years back. Yeah, Rip Parfit died. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're still going. Even with, I thought they'd stop without Rick, but um, I think they're still continuing. What else are they gonna do? I yeah. Guess, you know? Didn't they have a bit of a uh, falling out towards the end, even Rossi. I thought I don't I don't know. there was some kind of thing. The, their last there. studio album was called Riffs. Right. You can't argue that album title like that, can you? Riffs. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually quite good. Down, down, deeper, yeah, down, 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 down. down. <laughs> <laughs> trying to remember, like in the army now, I remember that one. That was kind of. That's a, more of an 80s yeah, one. Right? Yeah, it's a good song, though. Yeah. Can't think of what else I remember them doing, but yeah. Come on, sweet Caroline. Oh, all right, that's right, yeah, yeah. One. You're my sweet Caroline. Rocking them over the world, even okay. though it's not their song. Okay. Rocking all over yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah. I like it, I yeah. like it, I like it, I like it, I la 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 like it. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> but even then, that was late 70s, so they've already become a bit of more of a poppier band. Yeah. But the early stuff's a bit more rocky. Some it, more punk going yeah, on? Yeah, this is a... Uh, well, funny enough, um, there's a punk guy at work. So I actually got out all my S-Punk albums oh, to show him, like, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then, I love this band. This were like re this band were really aggressive at the time. His vocals were really aggressive. And really in-your-face stuff. British or American? Irish, Northern oh, Irish, yeah, very right. political. Right. Um, lyrically, this is uh, Stiff Little Fingers. Yeah. Uh, inflammable Suspect material. Device. That kind That's, of says it all the beginning. Yeah, really. straight away. Yeah. yeah. Um, wasted life uh, is about not being a fucking soldier. You know. 
uh, Bye Bye Love. That's a hilarious song. <laughs> it's done like a 50s love song, right. but they're uh, but, they but on over... the backdrop of a kind of war, yeah, kind of like the divide over a border or something. Yeah, uh, Rough Trade, Johnny Was, Alternative Oldstore was the big hit of the, the album. Fucking awesome album, really aggressive. His vocals are just something else. So I like the first two albums, I've not got the second one, Nobody's Hero, I'd like to get that. Uh, but the first two are like the classics. Fast as well. Really fast. All the time, you know. Another one that's slightly knackered. Watch it, you're, you're stripping it out, you did that. I mean... <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of like... You actually separated. You actually created that separation that yeah. wasn't there before. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I did, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I created a separation. You, you did. You did. You, you Get out the glue. You split it. Get out the prep stick. <laughs> That's that cherry bloody well uh, mm. beer. Remind you, it, was easy. it happened too yeah. easy. The glue, the glue must have just... Yeah. Yeah, it just... I bet it perished. had time Exactly. Well. Normally you wouldn't do that, would it? But so this is a live album uh, called Hank's. Which is just them saying thanks. Right. That just sounds like Hanks, mm. probably because they're normal those. <laughs> Brutal, really fucking heavy, great live album this is from 1980, just from their second album. Um, yeah, just really energetic, really powerful. I love, I love this album, Hanks. Brilliant stuff. This could be our longest show. I think the record is two hours and a bit, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, it's... yeah, B's or oh, right. H's might have been the longest show, but yeah, this could be it. Sorry. <laughs> They're all dead. Yeah. We're going to start at past it. four, probably. <laughs> yeah. Great album. Right. Um, it's widely considered like the first punk band, even right. though punk went around. This is a late sixties band. Uh, the Stooges. Yeah. Uh, Iggy and the Stooge. Yeah. Uh, come out in 69. they got a track called 1969. I Want to Be Your Dog it was quite a big song. Uh, no Fun, which Pistols... I thought it was a Pistols song for years. Oh, they no covered fun, it, they? Because they covered it all oh. the time. Um, this is... Yeah, this is great. Even though he was having a go at American Punk and your finger on about. Yeah. Yeah, this is the Stooges. Um, so influential, this band. You know, there wouldn't be any punk rock, I don't think, if it weren't for this band, actually. Because <laughs> the music's very simple. Yeah. It's punk before punk was even known about. Proto-punk. Pro Proto-punk. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So you say, well, who's oh, from Ziggy Pop, then? Here he is. Oh, OK. Ziggy Wouldn't recognise him from the, the yeah. wizened old fella. He's he still yeah. doing stuff. He's he, still like, doing stuff. Still runs around like a lunatic. Yeah, fucking got energy, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. He's got to be and it's not drug related anymore either, no. like it was back in the day. Um, that's my favourite Stooges. They only did three albums. I've actually. got, I've got actually, I've got an, not Iggy, included I've got an Iggy Pop 80 single, that bloody Wild Run. They only did a cover of the Wild Run. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. That's all right. Yeah. But, yeah. That's a rock and roll song, though. He's just, just mm. covered it. It mm. wasn't too bad. I quite like that at the time. Mm. I'm a wild one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah wild I can picture him singing yeah. it. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, this was the second Stooges album called Fun House. Um, Some psychedelic looking game. Yeah, 1970, yeah. Um, this is kind of more weirder yeah. than the first album, but TVI is really good. Um, 1970. Yeah, 1970 is really good. <laughs> they always do an album, a, a song named after the year they recorded it, don't no, they? I don't think so, because they did an album called Raw Power in 72. I don't think there's a song called 1972. No, it's a shame. It. They, they missed the rocky trip yeah. there. I've not got... Uh, I know I have got Royal Power. I didn't think I had okay. it. Yet. I've got all the albums. Come on, show the people, man. You're yeah, show the people, man. You're shit, sitting there reading it yourself. You know what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Fun out. It's your freaking album. It's you know what it looks like. It's my freaking album. Put it show on the back. It's, it's um, a gatefoldy thing. You haven't shown the back yet, you foolish boy. <laughs> that's a weird bloody... Oh, my God. That's going yeah. on that inside cover. He looks like he's giving you a come to bed eyes, that guy in the middle there. Well, I see you pop. They're all lying there on a bloody what? well... Uh, yeah. Magic carpet. Yeah. I imagine that must be in the studio now. Yeah. It looks like it was microphones. Mm. Cool stuff. <laughs> but the colours, saturation. In fact, too much, they were on Electra, Electra, which is quite a big label at the time. And, and uh, like this album, because it's a bit more weird, and they, they, um, Electra didn't understand it. I think uh, they dropped them, you know. Uh, they, it took too, maybe too aggressive. From like LA Blues. It's just noise, just drums, guitars, and just going crazy. That's all it is. 
But it's awesome. For five minutes, I'm just going <laughs> smashing things. Oh, God. Can't argue with that. <laughs> and so they did their own thing then, by the sounds of it. So you reckon they were kicked off a label by that for that one? Um, yeah. And they did this, David Bowie produced this. Okay. Uh, and now he's looking a bit more fucking like Iggy Pop, isn't he? Yeah. Iggy yeah. and Studio's Raw Power. The, the album sounds a bit like. No, so that's the same band. Produced. It's the same band, yeah. Different, different guitarists because the um and the guitarist died, I think. On the, okay, I was wondering how it went to be the Stooges, the Iggy and the Stooges. What? Well, it'd become a bit. He'd already done the solo album, I believe. Right. So he'd become a little bit more popular. So I think they wanted to call it Iggy and the Stooges, right. you know. Um, this is right. Search and Destroy is really good. Raw Power is excellent. So is, he, is his name Ignatius? Ignatius? I, Iggy's short for Ignatius, I don't isn't think it? so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be funny. I don't think that's his real name. Uh, it'd be good if he was. Uh, Ignatius Pop. Yeah, Ignatius Pop. <laughs> um, yeah, James Williams comes in on the guitars in this album. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. But it sounds really rough and ready, this album, though. Is that the next album? So it's directly next? Yeah. Because it's, it's uh, the name change and, and the look of him on the, on the front cover. Yeah, it's 1973, so it's, it's right. three years later. Um, he's got lipstick on my looks of it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, got, so he's got a fake mole. Is that a real maybe. mole? I don't know. He's eyeliner just, as well. Yeah, he looks, looks and like the, the bare chested. He looks like. Yeah, there's no sign of that on the first two albums, is there? I suppose yeah. mainly it's concentrating on the faces. Well, you, you, you know, this was the height of glam as well at the time. Uh, the seventies glam, you know. Oh yeah. Plus Barry, I think, uh, produced this. So. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Um, yeah. So is it, what is, like, it, is it? Is it punk still? Yeah, it's like? still it's still that kind of like a uh, rock and rolly punk stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. That, um, still got that kind of style to it. Iggy and the Stooges. Yeah. Surprising how old this stuff is and how long people still keep going for. It never dies, does it? No, if you've still got the energy to do it, you might as yeah. well carry on if you've loved it all your life. Yeah. You see Alice Cooper, he still fucking delivers the goods live when you ever you see him. Oh no, oh god no, you won't like this band. Oh god no, and even I'm not that keen enough. <laughs> all right, but... Okay. Uh, I don't know how I can come across this album, but... Um, oh Stop Mojo. God, oh. This is their first album, ah. Snap and Next. Groove Metal. Ah. <laughs> Groove, kind of groove metal, rappy kind of guy. A little yeah. bit of rappy, I don't, I don't know. I've got, I've, got a fucking, I've got like a, a promo sent to me like uh, when I was doing my fanzine. Like That's a, right, yeah. The best of or something. And I was yeah. like, this is the fucking best of, you can fuck off. Or <laughs> like, I, don't like, hey, I don't mind them, I don't mind Stuck Mojo, but um, they did an album I think called, um, was it Pig Walk or something? I didn't mind that, but um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's alright, but... They can stick their freaking mojo where the sun don't shine, as far as I can see. Well, they can stack, they can get their mojo stuck up their ass. Absolutely. Um, no, I, I don't mind it. I haven't heard this album for years, to be honest. So I can't yeah. remember that. There's obviously a good reason for that. This, this is their first <laughs> album. I, know, I think I remember that. But this I don't next, mind it, it's still still. This better. next one looks very familiar from the, yeah. from the back of it. I can't we're, we're, picture we're it. We're back to stuff you like. Yeah. Kind of, I can't work it out from here. Oh, we've got no, uh, S T. I thought I had a, a, the first album, to be honest. I'm kind of surprised I don't. It's funny, there's a few, you haven't got no Sodom? No, you know, no there's, I, I've got everything on there on my computer. Oh, it's a right. band I got into later on yeah, a bit more. Yeah. But I love Sodom, I'd pick them up. Fucking if I saw him now. I, you know? To be honest, I kind of I kind of missed out on Sodom myself actually. Yeah. I, I feel like I've got one album, one later album, on album, album of theirs. Same with Destruction. I never really fucking. Oh, I love Destruction. I, 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 like I, I missed out on their early ones. I actually bought them. But I never actually because mm. listening to so much stuff at the time. I never actually got into them until I was doing my fanzine. I got sent a couple of promo CDs like a little bit later on. And it fucking mm. blew me away. It was like oh. Well, wow, the thing with Destruction and Sodom to a point, but certainly Destruction. I think their later stuff is arguably better. Yeah. Like, quite, quite uh, possibly. Know. Yeah. Quite possibly. They're still, they're, 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 they're still going. carrying on bringing yeah. out fucking quality stuff. So good live as well. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I had the first album by, by, by these actually, uh, but I don't. But yeah, this is oh, Suicide so Tensors. Yeah. 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 Oh, Join the army. Oh. So the first album is very much their punk album, really. Yeah, yeah. skater punk. Yeah, yeah, skater punk. Really good. 
the first Suicide yeah. Squad. Yeah, really like definitely it. a different style, isn't it? Do you like it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, quite yeah, punky. Yeah, yeah, I do like it, yeah. But it is metally as well. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but it's definitely, yeah. But I didn't know, I liked it, yeah, I thought it was cool. Yeah. But, you know, uh, I saw your mother and your mother's dead. Yeah, and yeah. Saw her lying in a pool of red. That's or mental, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, like fucking institution- I shot Reagan. Institutionalised on there. Yeah, well, I shot it? the devil, institutionalised. Yeah. Um, suicidal Youth Fest. Uh, it's really good album. Yeah. Yeah. But his vocals are very different, more shouty and yeah, funky. Yeah. Well, this, this album, Johnny Only. It's got Army. speed on it as well, though. It's, yeah. it's fast and it's more oh, yeah. It's like, yeah. This is not crazy. Here's a tissue. You don't want to crazy. Here's a tissue. Stop me in an institution. Say, we're done. Listen, listen, give me a little bit of medical help. Right before they get to me and myself. Oh, no. It's all right. And he goes, dun, 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 into a groove again. You only wanted a Pepsi. Yeah, I know. I know. Give him a Pepsi. Fucking bastards. Well, when they did join the army, it was quite. It, Our carbonated what, drinks are available. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the best. Thing. Yeah, we can't be showing favouritism. They changed a lot because um, this, um, Johnny Arm was their second album, but really it was a, what, what, one, two, four years later. Oh, right. So uh, they so changed. Time to refine yeah. and they brought in a, gu- a new guitarist. And so for Venice me, Johnny Arm is more fresh metal. Venice sound Beach, now, California, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Definitely more freshy sort of sounding. So the metal coming really. Johnny Arm, it's got another good idea, like, yeah, actually. Uh, title. It's got a good groove to it as well. Yeah, and then it goes fresher. Then you've got a little fresher bit in the middle. Suicide on Maniac. Join the army. Yeah. Join the army. Suicide rock. We want you to join the army. St. And then and it's suicide on Maniac is also. Um, war inside my head. Ah, yeah. War inside my head, can you yeah. feel it? War inside my head. Possessed skate. War inside my brain, can you feel my pain? Yeah. Two wrongs don't make it right, but it, it makes you feel a lot better. better. <laughs> <laughs> like that yeah. The only thing for me that lets this album down a bit is the production. Right. It's pretty crappy production, yeah. really. The okay. guitars sound a bit really crappy, I don't right. know. Okay. But because uh, the next album, I just um, got, I, mean, I just enjoy the, the really tunes. Yeah, it's so great. Like, I think we had concentrate so much. I think they it. improved the production. They were the my favourite fresh band for, for quite yeah. a while. Suicide sort of tendencies, and uh, and they kind of one of those bands who lost their way a bit as well. I think the last good one was Lights, Cam, Revolution. It was really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Still quite melodic. The, that, the art of rebellion after that. Too melodic. Yeah, and about one or two good yeah. songs. Too but, much singing and yeah. Like, even um, um, the one before, like... It had like, a couple, yeah, yeah that still, song yeah, lovely yeah. on it, but when it's just yeah. one track uh, yeah. and the rest of them are still um, fresh and along, it's cool. Had a load of mind... um, yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. And yeah. of course, um, the big one, uh, uh, Can't Bring Me Down. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. I remember my 21st birthday, fucking playing that, like, at my party and fucking freshing out of my mates to it. Well, then, that's a fucking anthem and a half that fucking you can't bring me down. Also, the, the album of this, in between that, um, If I Can't Laugh the Day. Yeah, How Will I Laugh Today When I Can't Even, even Smile like, Tomorrow. I can so how, can I, how Will I Laugh Tomorrow When I Can't Even, even smile, smile Today. today that's yeah, it. that's a great album. Yeah, like, yeah. And the lyrics as well, and fucking awesome. Yeah, just, it's really kind of maudlin kind of feel to it as well. Classic uh, fresh metal. Um, that, that riff of the He's got a good voice in him as well. He's, he's, he can like. You can see. Do a fair bit of everything you can do. And it. live, it's just I see him um, play at Bloodstock as yeah. well. And he's just fucking still great live. Yeah. You know, he still moshes around. He's still got his fucking his bandana, bandana over his eyes. Did yeah. you ever see there's a fucking there was a TV program where he'd go around and do people's houses out, and he was actually had his house done out on his TV program. Really? Yeah, it was like one of these fucking. Like, you're away from the house for a week, and when you come back, they've done, they've done, your, done your house up for you. Oh, and he, really? he was the fucking. Well, then. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> he was rather mad. Last band. Right. Last band. Okay, oh. Dear. Can okay. you see? Let's yeah, see but it. it's one of them you won't, you know. I, I, I know the name, I know yeah. the name, but I can't say. I, I probably might even know one of the songs you probably tell yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right, right, so it's Super Tramp. Yeah. Right. Now, uh, well, I don't know, are they kind of. I'm getting 10 cc kind of in my head. Nothing like that. Yeah, they are. Like they're, they're, they're a semi kind of rock. Right. Sem- soft rock. The funny thing with this band, because if I'd never grew up with them, if I listened to them now, I'd probably think they're a shitty commercial yeah. rock band. Yeah. But because I grew up with yeah, them, you can't, you can't really help thing, it. But you, you know, it's easily done. Yeah. I, I love them. Yeah. Uh, this is the first album, which uh, the first two albums wasn't famous. 
Uh, so there's no famous songs in them okay. really. Um, but yeah, this is the first Super Trent album. Was oh, so it 70s? Uh, yeah, 70s. Uh, this is 1970. Okay. Um, so yeah. they must have got it from your, your parents, Good. surely. I picked this up myself. Yeah. Uh, uh, the next album coming up is the one that was a childhood album. Right. Uh, it's a huge album for me. Did you think, I'm a Trent and I'm super? I'm exactly. going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. <laughs> Oh, you, you thought you, you thought it was like Superman. You like Superman comics, and you were like, "Oh, it's Super Tramp." I wasn't. I <laughs> no. wasn't that young. No, <laughs> no, fair enough. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, my dad had my, my parents liked Super Tramp. Yeah. So, um, the second album uh, they brought out wasn't I can't remember what it's called, but it wasn't that famous. But then the third album was massive turning point for the band. I'm just looking at that cover. That's quite it's trippy, isn't it? Yeah, I know it's a bit, a bit Weird, creepy yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. Did you show it off? Yeah. Night, Carly. Are you finished? No. Still bloody going. Yeah, come in and say hello. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Yeah, All this right. this was a um, big old childhood album. This is yeah, it's still one of my favourite seventies albums, Chrome of the Century. Oh, the century. Great yeah. album cover. Yeah, not bad. Something interesting. Weird about it. Different you know. logo. Chrome of the Century. This has got Dreamer on it. Dreamer. Oh yeah. Um, I score is really good. Um, bloody well right, right. You're bloody well right. You got that bloody right. No, no. no. Um, Hiding in your shell is good. Uh, Crime of Century is awesome. I like the whole album. It's brilliant. Okay. I like the way they do the uh, lyrics because they've got um, two singers. Okay. And, well, um, different colour for different yeah, singers. Yeah, different colour for different right. singers. Um, I saw. Uh, is it Roger Hodgson? I think the uh, singer. He. I see him at the um, O2 as part of that um, prog festival that was going on, and he still sings like he does now, back then, uh, really high pitched, yeah. still amazing voice. And he played like the Super Trank song, as it was awesome. Um, yeah, Roger Hodgson. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of women in the band, three, four blokes, half, fifth, fifth, man. It's all blokes, isn't it? Oh, it's all blokes, yeah. yeah. It's all blokes. Are they naked on the back of them? Just like not holding quite. feet in front of them? Yeah, not quite, yeah. yeah. It's like they're naked, but they've got like they're holding yeah. suits like in front of their naked bodies. I'm not sure why they're <laughs> It's the 70s, leave yeah. me there. <laughs> I, I, was, I was not making any... I was just merely inquiring not what naked, was going on. I wasn't... Yeah. I wasn't doubting... Making assumptions. Or, yeah, no, I was just yeah. interested. <laughs> You all stood around just holding clothes in front of your naked bodies in them days? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Come on, you ain't got time for beer. That's true, we need it done. Yeah, you done. I, I, I can't remember, I believe this was the next album, uh, Crisis What Crisis. Right. <laughs> a great album cover, isn't it? Like, <laughs> Sunny and so off, and there's yeah, like a fucking film. Yeah, Industrial Nightmare going on behind him. Yeah. <laughs> crisis What Crisis. <laughs> this is not that so this, good. This is kind of like, rem this is relevant still for today isn't yeah. it the way politics are and the way the country's going two of us was quite a big song easy does it um i weren't so into this album but uh hey you know oh it's very yellow very, very yellow. yellow so nice mellow yellow, yellow. is it vinyl mellow I mellow know, yellow no, I it's would black so, yeah. <laughs> Um, it's funny because like, we say one of those bands you know the name of, but other than that, when you was it Dreamer? Dreamer. Other than that, yeah. I've not known any of the songs. You might know some of these. Uh, th this next, I don't know. See, there, there, there is a, f a couple of seventies albums I don't have. I think, but yeah. this next album was a huge album for them. It's quite a bit more maybe commercial sounding, but uh, this was a big album for the band. Uh, Breakfast in America. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a great cover. Oh, that's supposed to be the Statue of Liberty, which yeah. is like. She's serving it's just drinks. Just cups and pots. Oh, yeah. See, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah crazy. they're not there anymore. Oh, that's what they're twins hours. Yeah, Jesus, yeah. yeah. Uh, Breakfast in America. Um, <laughs> great album. Uh, Come on, what are the hits then? I will tell you in a minute. When you remember, <laughs> you're gonna have to look out to remind yourself. Oh no, I know what they are. <laughs> well, Breakfast in America for starters is a big song. Go on, sing it. No, <laughs> you don't remember it. <laughs> um. A logical song. When I was young, seems that life was so wonderful. Mm. No? Okay. Maybe. Goodbye, Stranger was quite big. Um, Take the Long Way Home was uh, famous as well. 
Hoping you guys know these songs. Yeah, they will. They're not ringing any bells with me. Yeah. Brexit in America, I'm trying to think how that... It, I'm trying to think how that goes, but um, that was a big song as well. Right. Don't you look at my girlfriend. Oh, yeah. She's, yeah, she's the only one I got. Okay. That one, that's Breakfast in America. Oh, okay, right, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah I don't that, that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Last album. <laughs> Unbelievably, <laughs> the last Finally, album. We have I apologise. The end of the essays. This is uh, this is a live album, live in Paris. Okay, it's really good. See you later. See you later again. Yeah. So was it on again. the same? Was it on the same night as that other one that we played earlier on? Not Do you reckon, they, do you reckon you... they were playing back to back? <laughs> no, this is nineteen eighty. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just talking bollocks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Should have like, realised like, that. It's no wrong night. Yeah. <laughs> A drunken night. Yeah, yeah, rather. So, uh, yeah, this is a really good live album, Skatefold. So, yeah, most of the songs... Why do they call them gatefolds? The fold bit I can understand. Yeah. But why gate. gatefolds? It's like a gate. Yeah. I guess. I don't I know. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> the, the backdrop, wicked uh, backdrop. That, oh, right. that's from yeah. the uh, last album, yeah, yeah, yeah. one before, rather, the Lost in Space, whatever it was. Yeah. Climbing a century or whatever. Does he see a keyboard player there? Yeah, that's Roger Hodgson. Uh, quite right. He's got a massive. Yeah, got, quite <laughs> right. He's got yeah. a massive megaphone, quite <laughs> right. Bloody well, right. right, you see. <laughs> that's, that's where that comes from. Big old drum kit. Yeah. He is actually, isn't it? Are you still going? No, uh, Roger Hodgson's still do, doing the odd solo right. thing. I see him at the Probably thing. Too. Yeah. <coughs> um, Stone Free Festival, that's it. I'm trying to remember what the hell it was called. Right. Got free tickets for that. It was awesome. And was it free of stones? No, everyone was stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, <coughs> oh dear, well, hiccups now. No, really, really good live album. Most of the stuff's from Breakfast and Chroma Century. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Cool. We've done the S's. Oh. I promise you it will never be this long again. No, we've got to go now. Yeah. Not T's. T's. T's, UVWs, XYZs. And, and no XYZs. Got no XYZs. No. You got some weird, isn't it? Maybe. I can understand X, but I should have Y's. Maybe that should be our challenge. Maybe yeah. we should do the final challenge. We should go and see if we can buy some X. Oh, that was some <laughs> fucking album. There's, only, there's one album I really like under X, but it was always too expensive. What's so, that? Yeah. X-ray specs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Always too expensive. Okay. Uh, plastic, something plastic, I name. What was her name? Who? What? Lisa. Oh, oh uh, Lisa um, Polystyrene. Polystyrene, that's yeah. it, yeah, yeah. She's, yeah. she's the. She died, yeah, I know, yeah. Because yeah. Lisa was a fan of theirs and she was quite upset when she died. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's let's it. end on a happy note. Yeah. Beer. I've well, run, run out of oh, beer. What's oh, that? That's still, a sad note then. I've got half a pizza, pizza there, which, oh, yeah. which I'm going to eat. Yeah, I didn't know. I wasn't that hungry when it came actually. I had to put in curry earlier on when I was out ah. the cinema with my aunt. Right, so that's right, it. Let's stop it. That's it then. That's yeah. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I will actually do a, a radio show. Yeah, tune into this radio show. Yeah. Links down below. Yeah. Tune into my podcast. Links down below. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking up. I'm kicking yeah. him out and I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it anyway? Fuck knows. All right, see you later.